Crane shares with us some great information on a support group for parents of autistic children. We are live from Smith's Cafe in Seaford. Here's your host, Kim Weller. We ready? I, all I hear is the radio. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hey, everybody, Jim Weller here, and welcome, 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 welcome to Weller, Weller Does Del Marva. Show number 312. 312 shows. So I want to say thank you, everybody. That sounds like a six year mark. We're going to plan a party here in a few weeks uh, for our six year anniversary, and it's also my birthday, March 12th. So good morning, everybody. You're watching and listening to Weller Does Del Marva. You just saw the collage pertaining to this week's show. And I think we're going to be joined by Colin Walls. And um, we're going to talk about Walls Service Center. Do want to mention Weller's Utility Trailers is for sure going to be open today. And um, I forgot what time we open on Saturdays. I think it's 8 o'clock. So we're going to be open from 8 to 1 at Weller's Utility Trailers on Route 13 in Bridgeville. Been selling a lot of trailers, sheds, carports, swing sets, and everything in between. So if you need anything, Weller's Utility Trailers in Bridgeville is the place. Phone numbers 302 337 8228. 337 8228. Like us on Facebook if you would. And here he is, everybody. Here I is. Colin Walls, Walls Service Center. Good morning, Colin. Hey, good morning. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. I'm doing real good. And um, we got a busy show planned. Really? It's been a busy week. Weather has changed, mm -hmm. but I bet people are still getting their air conditioner service. People are still getting their air conditioner service. Yeah, we still got some hot weather to go. It's it's not even September. How many yet. more days of hot weather are you predicting? Oh, I thought you were going to say how many more days of August. Oh, okay. Yeah. Darn. Right. Well, we I had, had to we for thought, that one. Right. The 32nd? Well, yeah, the date for that collage is for the right. 32nd. So right. we got. Luckily, we didn't wait till tomorrow to play it. To on play the 30 it. We played it today. Right. So, Wall right. Service Center, we are doing lots of air conditioning work still because there are still hot days to come. September is usually a hot month. I mean, we have 80s and 90s in I September think it's fair to say, all the time, even into October. Even into October. That's mm -hmm. right. Yeah. But it's fair to say, if your air conditioner in your automobile is not working now, mm -hmm. it won't cost any less to get it fixed next year. Generally, things go up. Right. Yeah. So, let's just get it dealt with now. Right. That way, if you happen to take a trip to Florida in the mm -hmm. middle of the winter, you still got air conditioning. Exactly. Just to be on the safe side. Right. And actually, your car does use the air conditioner in the wintertime. It uses it when you turn on the defrost. Your AC oh, compressor comes on. It helps point. defrost and defog. You know, okay. It actually okay. removes moisture from the air. So that makes sense from your to windshield. Me. Right. Yeah. So, I got that. So anyway, so. It, does, it does work. Uh, okay. Also, we like to talk about this checklist, checklist. Your favorite thing to get at Wall Service Center. Yes, I love um, it. <clears throat> and we actually have people just stop in and say, I want that checklist. I mm -hmm. like that checklist. Can I just have that done? I'm thinking about buying this car. Can I have that done? Good point. Sure. Right. Yes, we can do that. That's no problem at all. Wow. And, and uh, but people appreciate this, and and I'm glad they do. And and I think it, they appreciate it more after they realize we're not doing it to sell them something. Oh, right, right, right. We're, right. we're it's doing not a sales it to, pitch. Exactly. It's, it's it's an information. It's information. Let's let's tell you where your car is, and you know, and as far as maintenance goes, you know, do you need belts? Are they coming up? Do you need hoses? Right. Uh, Strength brakes, of your battery. Tires. Battery. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. is, is your battery at sixty percent? You know, we're getting into right. the marginal area there, where right. on a cold morning it might not start. Yeah. So it's to prevent breakdowns. You know. So the f number one thing I say about this checklist is safety. We're looking for safety issues. Mm -hmm. We don't want an accident or anything. You know, that could cause right. an accident. Next thing is we're looking at maintenance preventing breakdowns let's not break down let's actually get ahead of the it problem spends less money that way it costs you, you less can be money more you don't prepared. have a record you can budget you right. right you don't have a sometimes Unexpected you got to rent day a car from work or something like that lose right. a day of work exactly so mm -hmm. let's get it planned when you need brakes brakes don't go bad all of a sudden you know unless you've got a caliper goes right. bad or something so we can see and we can watch as we're as uh, we do the oil changes on your car. Well, and, and you let deal you know. a lot with businesses. So, you know, let's mm -hmm. say a business owner's listening oh. or watching and their employees aren't telling them, oh, by the way, when I put my foot on the brake pedal, it vibrates and things like that. It goes to the floor. You get your, <laughs> right. You get your <laughs> yeah. oil changes done at Wall Service Center. And right. this service is just a free added value service. So if exactly. your employees maybe aren't mechanics, which they are not supposed to be. Right. But, you know, in other words, mechanics do the oil changes and, and keep you. What's the word? Abreast yep. and informed. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're coming on the radio. Real oh. quick, phone number. 422-8110, wallservicecenter.com, on the web, downtown Milford, 220 Northeast Front Street. I'll see you. Good morning, everybody. Jim Weller here. 
And uh, we are about to come live on the radio, and uh, we're here. We're live. We're alive. We're in Smith's Cafe in Seaford, Delaware. Good morning. Good morning to my radio audience. And um, I don't know what you just said, but that's okay. We are going to play a collage. I thought he said we're going to the lodge. Colin said we're going to play the collage. I thought we're going to the lodge. All right. Here's a collage, everybody, of what's happening today on Weller Does Del Marva. You ready? Roll it. This week on Weller Does Del Marva, Jimmy from Wellers in Bridgeville has the scoop on what trailers are moving. Denise is here with the social calendar for the weekend. Chad Robinson from the Delaware Food Bank has the details on the upcoming dinner in the orchard. We welcome Andrew Thornley from Soft Wash Solutions. Will Kenny joins us and we'll hear all about the sixth annual Carnival for a Cause. And Tony Crane shares with us some great information on a support group for parents of autistic children. We are live from Smith's Cafe in Seaford. Here's your host, Jim Weller. Good morning, everybody. So for those listening on the radio, good morning. Please do not look at your radio as I talk about things that you can see and so on. I'm also on a half a dozen Facebook pages plus YouTube. So you can watch us there on YouTube or on Facebook. If you're watching on Facebook, hit the share button. We got a lot of friends in Florida that are watching and they're bracing for the big storm. So keep everybody in Florida in your prayers. It's going to be tough. But I want to let you know this is show number 312. We're sitting here in Smith's Cafe. If you want to come watch this show live, we're here until 9 o'clock this morning. There is no charge to watch it. There's no admission charge. There's free parking. If the sun comes up, there'll be free sunshine and there's free fresh air. But if you want to get yourself a cup of coffee or breakfast or something like that, it's on you. So this is a show called Weller Does Del Marva. We're going to talk about one of our good supporters and sponsors, which is my friend, Dave Wilson, Wilson's Auction, been in business over 40-plus years in the community, right there on 113 in Lincoln. And starting today at 10 o'clock today, they have a huge auction. It goes all day, all afternoon, and into the evening, okay? All kinds of things, all right? Then on Tuesday nights, they have an auto auction at 7 o'clock. But listen to this for just a minute. Just listen. On Monday, Labor Day, now you say most places are closed. You're right, but Wilson's Auction has an annual event. It's called their Labor Day Auction, okay? And they have all kinds of things, antiques, furniture, glassware, collectibles, firearms, estate jewelry, gold coins, live low-digit tags. Um, that's a fun thing to see. The, the tags are very feisty. Okay, low-digit tags are a big thing in Delaware. But I want to tell you, they've got some automobiles also. So if you're off work on Monday or you're going to work late or getting off early and you want something to do, if you're visiting the area and you've never been to a Wilson's Auction auction, it's kind of cool. It's a lot of fun. There's going to be food, fellowship, free parking, free fresh air, and lots of bargains to be had. They're going to have all kinds of tags. I see one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, at least ten tags. One of them is motorcycle tag number 501. They got a trailer tag number T483 and many, many other tags, automobiles, antiques, all kinds of things. This today, first of all, you've got Wilson's auction. Then Monday, you've got it also at the Red Barn. And there is a preview um, sometime. When is the preview? Is Sunday, tomorrow. You can go tomorrow and preview what they're going to be selling on Monday. The preview is from 11 to 4 in the red building at Wilson's Auction. So it's wilsonsauction.com. And then next Saturday, they come right back again, and they have another big auction at Wilson's Auction. And they have another off-site auction in Denton, Maryland. So you can learn more at wilsonsauction.com. You can like them on Facebook. You can um, check them out on the, the web, wilsonsauction.com. Facebook is Wilson's Auction. And then their phone number is 422-3454, 422-3454. I got all these notes. I'm just letting you know Wilson's Auction has got it going on. Whether you're buying or selling, Wilson's Auction will get the job done for you, all right? And if you're bored, you want to have some activity, just hold your hand up. Act like you're waving to people, and uh, you'll be surprised how much stuff you own. It's kind of fun that way. All right, my next guest is my little boy, Jimmy Weller, salesperson up at Weller's in Bridgeville. 
um, and uh, he's getting it done. Uh, business has been very good this week. Uh, we lowered our prices. I forgot when, four or five weeks ago now, and uh, we haven't slowed down a bit. Nope. All right. So how are you doing? Great. Good. Anything exciting going on with your world? Uh, I was doing a mix series, and that's okay. coming to an end. All right. As I have a coworker leaving today. Okay. Last day for Steve. Yep. Yep. Kind of sad. He's been a big help. I mean, he's been there since like uh, December. So um, that is going to create some more job openings. Um, so anyway, uh, so your mix series is ending. What else is going on with you? Um, got a office trivia coming up next weekend. Okay. And we're going What's to that. The, anybody's the ever show? seen the TV show The Office? Really? Uh, avid watcher. Okay. So <laughs> where is the for, office trivia? We're Microphone teammates. <laughs> um, uh, Baltimore. Really? You're going to Baltimore? Yep. Katie would tag along. She might we're even pay your way. Room. Right. Oh, you spend a night. This is an overnight trip. Yeah, it's a bar crawl slash office trivia. Really? Yep. And where? Baltimore. Baltimore. Wow. Yeah. The winners get Dundies, which are trophies that they had on the show. So no kidding. Hopefully I'll have Bring one. Bring home a Dundee. Yeah. <laughs> You'll be bringing a Dundee to show us. That show was kind of fun, wasn't it? Oh, Who yeah. was the main guy on there? Uh, Steve, Steve Carell. Steve Carell. He played Michael Scott. Right. And there's like a program called Carell that was written after made after him i think that's shampoo oh is it really shampoo uh, so to see design a line of shampoo <laughs> maybe all right uh what else you got going on you sold anything lately uh, i've sold a few things all right and um you did some shooting out to my house the other day you know i didn't you didn't okay. i woke up and there was a 20 percent chance of rain and the rain decided to take the 20 percent chance okay so I seen there was no holes in the barrels except for the big hole in the end. Yeah, I didn't want to lay on the ground in the rain. Okay. Well, I also was thinking, man, they were perfect shots. They never <laughs> missed once and hit the barrel. I was like, there was not a whole one in the barrels. All right. And uh, you got Lindsay with you today? Yep. Probably and, doing um, some kayaking this weekend. Oh, you did some last weekend, I thought. Yes. We did the Miss Pillion River in Milford. Where did you go out at? On the police station side? Yes, right next to the police station. Okay. We went under the bridge, listened to the cars going over. What was that like? That uh, was pretty cool. Did you worry about anything falling on you? Uh, slightly, yeah. Uh. Okay. <laughs> then we were kind of hoping that a boat was going to come through so we could watch it lift. You know what you need to do is next time you go, you need to take these magnets with you. Yeah. Under that bridge or near that bridge <laughs> just to see if something's fell or somebody tossed a gun or something like that. We could use it as an anchor, just throw it on the bridge. And yeah. not go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> you might not be able to get them undone, though. That's true. Shoot, they're strong. Magnets. They are. You were there when we stuck two magnets together. Yeah, I don't know who did that. That was terrible. You <laughs> did that first time. Sure. First time was you. You taught me how. So, But we have these magnets on a string, and you can go throw them in the water, and you'd be amazed what you find. So um, I would I take them. magnetic rocks. No. Nah. Yeah, I got them stuck on my fridge. Really? <laughs> Well, I mean, the rocks the themselves rock... aren't powered, but if you stick it up to a magnet, they stick to a magnet. So they have metal. You must have them. iron ore in yeah. them. Iron ore. Iron ore. But anyway, so that would be interesting to try from the kayak. Unless you get something big, then you're in trouble. Yeah. How are you going to be calling you know, you'll a tow truck? The, you'll be flipping the kayak over. You'll have to get somebody. Oh, she's taking our picture. Katie does a great job of that. Look at that high dollar <laughs> iPad she uses. But anyway, so sales, sales, sales. I want you to sell some stuff today because aren't you in a bonus scenario? Yep. I just and need um, to sell seven trailers today myself. That's very possible. How that many did we possible. sell yesterday? Uh, six? Something like that. Five yeah, and today's six. Saturday. So what time we open at? 8 o'clock? Yeah, maybe 7.55. Right. Okay. And uh, people come a long way to deal with wellers, don't they? Yeah. I mean, we got the local market. And now yeah. we got the market in Connecticut. Some Virginia's, yeah. New York. Virginia, Yorks. New York, everywhere. Gosh, so anyway, large selection, great prices, good service. Uh, we are looking for another sales person. Lindsay. So um, <laughs> anything else? Um, um, no. Tell me something good. Um, what, next week is the last week here? The is last week here. So that will be your last week on the show? Yes. I am. I'm pretty sure I've convinced Devin to be a part of the show, as she said that she will be driving right past the cheer center. Oh. And I told her that she may be able to talk a free breakfast out of you. Oh, I don't know about that, but maybe. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. But anyway, yeah, have her get up with me about that because um, I need to schedule her in. I think Terry wants to do that, too. He tells me. Terry's getting a cat. Is he really? He's waited a long time for this cat. Why? Siamese. I guess really? there's a, a waiting list. For Siamese cats? Yeah. 
That wasn't. Really I bet it was I the background was two check. cats together. What's that? I thought a Siamese cat was two cats together. You mean hooked together? Yeah. Like eight I'm not paws? honestly sure what a Siamese cat is, other than a breed of cat. I, I thought a Siamese cat has squinty eyes or pointy ears. I think or is a that lot a leopard? of cats have that. Oh, really? I don't know. Okay. I don't own many cats. All right, so we're publicly letting everybody know Terry's getting a Siamese cat. Yes. Is he having like a housewarming party that we're Probably. all invited to? Okay. <laughs> Terry's a good guy, isn't he? He is. He keeps us all straight. He puts up with a lot. He does, doesn't he? <laughs> he does. With a smile most of the <laughs> with time. With a smile. Terry's been good. All right. Anything else? Nope. I'm out of here. Are you leaving us? Uh, probably not. I'm just going to that table. Okay. Take care. <laughs> Give your bill to uh, Katie if okay. you would. Do you, you do the tip. We'll do the bill. How's that? All right. So anyway, what else is going on? Man, Kevin Short, we never see him anymore. Mid-South Audio. I feel shunned by kevin but that's okay kevin said he's busy that's what he tells you when he's aggravated at you so anyway good supporter of the show mid-south audio good friend of ours kevin and debbie short good people and this is their busy 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 time of the year and the last thing kevin has time to do is eat breakfast so we haven't seen him in a while but we're going to see him soon we are going to a new location next week is the last week at smith's cafe and then we are going to be making our way to the cheer center in Georgetown. As Denise and I get a little older, we're going to take a tour of the Cheer Center and see if we could see ourselves living there. No, I'm just kidding you. I'm just kidding you. All right. Whew. She was like, no, nah, I didn't sign on for that, but I thought we'd be close to Maryland's dumplings. So anyway. But there's um, nothing wrong with that, I guess. If, do they have like a No, they scene? do. It's oh, like a, it's, it's a, probably very nice. It is real nice. Yeah. It is real nice. So, so anyway. We're not putting them down. No, we're not putting them down. We're just not ready to leave our uh, 30 acre farm <laughs> at in you the know, country. Cheer does have work. apartments. I thought I was, I do. wasn't kidding. They yeah. even have them in Milton and they have them in a couple different places. Really? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I was just trying to get Denise off of Fine Day Farm. I no, know. I'm just kidding. You are always She loves it. To. Loves it. I she do. would like her ashes sprinkled there in the garden. <laughs> is that what she said? In the garden. Anywhere right? in the yard's fine. Anywhere in the yard's fine. Okay. But not where the sod is, right? And there is no more sod anymore. It all died? Yeah. <laughs> Did it really? It wasn't that much. Okay. We it was just, that little area. It was just that little teeny area. I thought it had a warranty or something. No. What's up with you, young lady? Oh, gosh. Today is August 31st. Okay. End of summer. Usually, it, what, usually I um, stop wearing white pants. Because when I grew up, you wore white pants or shorts or slacks or whatever from... Um, Memorial Day to Labor Day. Okay. After that, it was a fashion no-no. But really? now I'm told it's fine to wear white anytime. But I'm still cutting it off. So really, yeah. Okay. So that's that for that. Right. It's Are you going to continue statement. to be on the show after the seventh? I think so. If you want me. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna have to see. Okay. No, we want you. I'll we need you. Okay. It would not be the same without your social calendar. Hopefully, I can find interesting things to talk about. Can we talk about where we went last night? Yeah. Hickory Ridge, first annual. Mm -hmm. Remember Horse Potter? I remember that. We used to go there and take the kids. Yeah. And there was all kinds of things. Well, they're having it again. We were there last night. The first mm -hmm. annual Hickory Ridge Antique Tractor Show just outside of Milford off on Big Stone Beach Road. Big Stone Beach Road. want to encourage people to check it out today and tomorrow. So um, we went and walked around, and you made a purchase. I did. A cobweb broom. Cobweb broom. Right. There's a guy there that makes brooms. Right. And so I already have one that sweeps my floor, but I have get cobwebs up in the corner of my ceiling once in a while, and it's hard mm -hmm. to reach. And so it, it's a special broom for cobwebs. So I said, and hey, I'll he, take one. He had a gizmo that I thought was pretty cool. Yeah. A thing to hold your broom. Right. Like it would be this thing. You, you'd, like, screw it to the wall. And it has this little round disc in it. And you take the broom handle and just push it up so the broom don't sit on the floor. Because now I know why brooms are all tilted sideways. Right. And I would have purchased one along with my cobweb broom. But it's a small closet that I have it in. And I didn't know if I could maneuver the broom into the okay. holder. That's why I okay. did not purchase one. But Because of all the bags of dog food. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. All right. So okay. what else is up? Well, I wanted to tell you, every time we, I come to an end of a season, okay. I always think back, you know, was it a good season? What did I do? And I was talking to the grandkids yesterday. Okay. And I asked them, I said, out of all the things you did this summer, the swimming pool, um, little league ball, mm -hmm. um, you know, what Magnet was... fishing. Yeah. What was, the, what was the best thing? And Shelby said, well, 
um, ball because she loves ball, right. little league ball, and she was also an all-star. But guess what her second thing was, and she mm -hmm. really loved it. And the she fair. Was, no, and that was one of the things on the list, and they did not say the fair. You know what she okay. said? Movie night at our house. She loved it. She loved it. Yeah. Those, what was it? We had Angels in the Outfield. We watched Angels in the Outfield and Toy Story 3 at right. our house on our new projector outside. So they're looking forward to some in the fall where we can have the Mid fire South pit Audio going. Mid-South Audio Project pro thing. Yeah, it's a great projector. Great projector and the screen. Yeah, and they loved it. And that was her second best thing all summer. Really? Yeah, over a swimming pool and Everything. the fair, yeah. Wow. So what did any of the other kids say? Well, I didn't, they didn't really know because I made such a big deal about that, you know. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I said, yes. You were happy. We did it. <laughs> wow. Not them trips to the fair with Papa. No, no. All right. So um, anything else going on? Well, I did want to tell Are we going to the movies? We're going to the movies to sometime this weekend. Okay. But we're really going to Kohl's. We're going to Kohl's because I have cold Kohl's cash to spend, and it's done, Eating I think. Eating a hole in your the, pocket. Well, no, it's just done by the end of the weekend, I think. Okay. And then a trip out to dinner, and then I'd love to see the movie, um, Where'd You Go, Bernadette? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I forgot what it's she about. She goes to Antarctica. She doesn't tell anybody she's leaving. She just goes to... Takes off. Yeah. But I think her family right. follows you. It's, an, it's a... It's a good movie? I think. It's what All it right. says. It's a good movie. All so right. I don't know. All right. What else do you have on your list? you got okay. a whole list of well, things Well, no, it's not that much. I just okay. really get your pencils ready because I'm going to give you an awesome website, okay? All right. I came across this on Facebook. And um, if you want to know interesting things that are going around in Delaware or okay. any state, it doesn't have to be Delaware, okay. there's this website that is www.onlyinyourstate.com. OnlyInYourState.com. In your it's an easy one to remember. And then you scroll down and click what state you want. So I did Delaware. And they just tell interesting things like like um, dining places, attractions, state parks. Really? And I have lived in Delaware my entire life. And there's a couple places, hiking places, that I never knew existed. I love to walk, and I've been walking for years. Even as a kid, I had a paper route. You started route. walking as a kid? No, but I had a paper route in Little Creek. You know, Little Creek's a mile long, and I walked the whole town every day, you know. and You did have a paper route, I know, I you? loved it, yeah. And then I used to walk my neighbor's dog, and I've just, I'm a walker, okay? There's a little right. difference between a walker and a hiker, but I love hiking, too. I've done that a couple times. But right. anyway, listen to this. There's a, in Delaware, it's, it's listed eight exhilarating hikes. I'm out of time. What does that mean? Nothing. Just keep okay. going. Katie wants to take our picture, too. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, eight, eight exhilarating. Eight exhilarating hikes. Okay, so Lums Pond is 6.8 miles. I've okay. never walked Lums Pond Trail. Okay. 6.8 miles. Is that in Lincoln, Allendale? Lums Pond. Isn't that up? Dover, Wil Smyrna? That's up Wilmington okay. somewhere, isn't it? Okay. Newark, I think. All right. Anyway, like I walk 3.2, three or four times a week, okay? Okay. So... Um, but I've not walked that far, 6.8. Anyway, Killens Pond's 2.7. That's a great hike. I have okay. done that. But listen to this one. I've never heard of this. Lenape Loop Middle Run Valley Park. Where is that? I have no idea. It's 4.4 miles. And the big one, which I'm going to do someday, is um, Whiteley Farms Trail, White Clay State Park, 7.4 miles. Wow. And there's other ones. There were just ones that I just wrote down. So it sounds kind of fun. Maybe that seven-mile one, I ought to pack some Build water and a little snack or and something, bring a you know. <laughs> and bring a scooter. No, I'm going to do it. I love walking. All anyway, right. there's that. And I also wanted to say okay. that August is a great time to see the Milky Way. Um, I thought you saw it last night. Right. It's out. It's just oh, it's so you can see it more than one night. Yeah, you can see it all the time. It's just you look up in the sky, but you really need a dark sky, okay? And you just see billions of stars, which you don't always see. If you look at other times of the year, you'll see stars, but not like peppered with the sky. Peppered. Give me that it. website one more time. We're out of time. Okay. www.onlyinyourstate.com. Onlyinyourstate.com. You don't even need the www. It'll come up. Okay. All right. Anything else? No, I guess we're done. We are done. That are you was, okay? That was quick. Well, it was about, I don't know how long it was. It was certainly our five minutes worth. <laughs> It okay. was everything you paid for and more. <laughs> All right. Okay? okay. Look at them. They're lined up. We got people just ready to get okay. on. Okay. So I'm good. We're doing it. But I, anyway. I can um, go. You can go? Yeah. Okay. I do want to know. You plan on coming to Georgetown? Yeah. Okay. 
All right, we're going to leave you then, all right? All right, see you see later. You. Bye, thanks. All right, there she goes, everybody, Denise Weller. I do want to finish up uh, with one of our sponsors, Mid-South Audio, Kevin Short. Wanted to thank him for his support of the show. Mid-South Audio does a great job, midsouthaudio.com. Like him on Facebook, if you would. Phone number 856-6993, 856-6993. Now, got one more good supporter sponsor I want to talk about, but I want to thank Smith's Cafe. That's where we're at. We're inside of a restaurant called Smith's Cafe, and uh, this is our next to the last show that we're doing here. We've been here 108 times. I think it's, I can't tell if it's 108 or 106, but it's uh, one or the other. But anyway, we've been here a while. Started out going to be six months, turned into 12 months, turned into 18 months. Now it's been 24 months. It's just time to go to a different location. So we're going to the Cheer Center in Georgetown. We're going to keep right with the same time, 7 to 9, every Saturday morning. So if you want to see the show in person, we're here till 9 today. And we will be back again next Saturday. And after that, that will be our last show at Smith's Cafe. So we want to say a big thank you to Billy and James and the entire Smith family and all of the crew here. They've done an excellent job of uh, supporting us, helping us, and sponsoring the show. Now, we were talking earlier about ice cream uh, before we went on the air. All right? And um, people love ice cream. And we sponsor uh, they sponsor us, actually. We support Vanderwin's Ice Cream. We love Vanderwin's. Vanderwin supports the show, and we appreciate that. So this is a sponsor segment, and I want to let you know they have four locations, and most people know it, but they have one in Fenwick Island, so not everybody knows that. Got one in Dewey Beach. They got one in Greenwood and one in Bridgeville, and it's called Vanderwin's Creamery. I call it Vanderwin's Ice Cream. All right, local family, the Vanderwin family has been supporting our community for over 60 years. Great people, great farmers. Uh, Jesse Vanderwin's my state representative, but they make and sell really, really, really good ice cream. So they just started having soft serve ice cream at the Bridgeville location, something new. So anyway, if you want some ice cream, whether you want a pint or a quart, you want just a cup or a cone, whatever you may need, they will take care of you, and it's a great thing to get. They have gift cards also, and if you ever want to hire their ice cream truck to come to your business or to one of your events, they also can do that for you as well. So it's called Vanderwin's Creamery, Vanderwin's Ice Cream. On the web, it's Vanderwin's. It's really VanderwinFarmCreamery.com on the web. And then we would like you to like their Facebook page if you would, okay? And tell them I sent you. Sometime during the show, we might give away some gift cards. We do that every now and then, but we've got a pretty full show going on here this morning. Uh, now, at 7.30, we take a break from the radio, just so everybody knows. So if you're listening on the radio, when we take a break from the radio, we don't stop on Facebook. So when we go live at 7 o'clock... We don't stop till 9 o'clock. So we're on Facebook. We're on Jim Weller's Facebook page. We're on a half a dozen Facebook pages. But just go to Jim Weller. We don't even have to be friends. You could dislike me and still watch the show on Jim Weller's Facebook page, okay? And if you're watching on Facebook, we'd appreciate it if you hit the share button. Okay, uh, we have a lot of people, uh, a lot of our friends are down in Florida, you know, dealing with this storm coming up and um, they're watching us on Facebook also. So to everybody out there, good morning. Thank you for watching the show. If you would hit the share button, we'd appreciate it. I hear the music. We're taking a break from the radio. I can hear it. So go right on over to Jim Weller's Facebook page. We may give away some stuff while we're on break from the radio. Weller Does Del Marva continues on Facebook and YouTube right now. All right, everybody, we're still here. Good morning to you. We're going to chat with Colin Walls here in just a second, Walls Service Center. And um, we just got a lot of stuff going on. The show is going to be a busy show this morning, and it has been busy already. Um, I've already had three or four different people to talk to, and um, I've only had Jimmy and Denise. It's felt like three or four people. Uh, I talked to Colin, so there's three. And Colin has a split personality, so there's four. Oh, yeah. So um, anyway, so we've been busy. But they all have the same name, so you don't get confused and I don't get angry. <laughs> and they're all None wearing of get angry. Right. So, <laughs> That's right. We all wear anyway, that. Yeah. So <laughs> Colin has multiple personalities. Right. So. All right, Colin, what's going on in your world? Uh, so Wall Service Center, we have lots going on there. You do. And I, I just kind of want to start from the beginning again because I'm okay. thinking maybe there's new people tuning in today. Oh, absolutely. Every half an hour we get a brand new crowd. That's right. Because that's some have to things. go into work or do something. increments. Right. But you do so, do a lot of work for local businesses. I go yeah. by and I see 
this truck there and that truck there. We do, and, yep. And, and stuff like that. And speaking of local businesses, we've been a local business for 61 years. Mm -hmm. That's, That's a, a long, long time. time for an automotive repair shop to be Well, and for your light bulbs to last that long and uh, toilet right. seats oh, and I got, just everything. I got it's these just... LEDs that are supposed to last 20 years now. Oh, so really? We'll see. You're yeah. banking on it. <laughs> yeah. He wrote the date on the on the light fixture when he That's put funny, it up. That's funny because I have done that on some of them. I do it I on just, just about. To see. Right. I do it, too, because when I say, I just bought that six months ago. And you find out it was six years ago? Right, it was six years ago. <laughs> right. We have people so, do that, too, with batteries. Yeah, I just right. bought this battery. Well, let me look it up. Oh. oh yes. Yes, yeah. I remember when my grandfather yeah, that, installed that yeah, battery Yeah, that four-year warranty uh, <laughs> expired three years ago. No, I, I'm guilty of it, too. Time does fly, and it, sometimes it, does. it didn't seem like very long ago. But anyway, we've been around for a long time. Family-run business. Four generations have worked there yeah. now. So I, I currently own it. I'm the third generation. My son, Colin, is there now. He's the fourth, and hopefully it just keeps on going. Growing, right. Yeah. There you yep. go. So, and uh, we're in the building, our uh, 1968 built state-of-the-art building. Second place it's been, right? Yeah. Yeah, so they were in the first place for 10 years. 1958, we started right behind the senior center in Milford. And then my grandfather, Atlantic Gas, built this new building for him. It was a three-bay shop, and it was just the really? nicest it could be, you know, in 1968, and then we mm -hmm. added on again, added a couple more bays, two deep, so uh, we've okay. got we've got lots of room there, lots of room. Right, because you can out. work on multiple vehicles at one time. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, because sometimes you're waiting for the parts to come for this right. one, so you jump over to the yeah, next one. Yeah, and we've one got and so we've on. got several mechanics there too that can. Oh, work that's on true. It, so, right, yeah. it's not just Colin. It's not just me. It's not just, not just Colin. me. All right, give us a call, Wall Service Center four two two eight one one zero WallServiceCenter dot com on the web downtown Milford two twenty Northeast Front Street, and you know what to do in downtown Milford. Check out the River Wall. Check, Check out, out the, the dog kayak park. Launch. All the, oh, I was talking to uh, Ramsey from Arenas there. Okay. He's one of the owners. And he said it is, he had no idea that Milford would be as busy as it is. He said it's just amazing. He's blown away by really? how busy their place is there. Well, well that's, Arenas, that's so. good, isn't it? It is real good, yeah. Because they're a little bit off the beaten path, but they're right on one of the <clears> main <throat> roads. Well, yeah, they're on the main road, and they're right on the river. They've got right. they got front. it all. Yeah, so. They have a nice little deck out back. Yep. Kayak launch right there, too. Kayak launch right there, yeah. I need yep. to get Milford to put a kayak launch at my place. Just run a little trough well, of water a, up just there. Just a little ditch right up there, right. Jimmy. Or why don't you build it up high and make it a launch? Get enough speed. <laughs> in, other words, in other words, you would have the only high-speed high kayak, kayak launch. launch. Yeah. Right. That's what I would <laughs> petition them to do. Buckle your life vest. And if they build it nice and tall, they could sell ads on it. <laughs> right. Right? Right. You know, and then in the winter, if it was nice and ice and snowy, that would be fun. That would be fun. Right. So. Yeah. All right. Anything All else? Right. You have your insurance company check in on that, please. Oh, speaking of insurance. Oh, speaking of insurance, I'm in the same thing, too. I got my bill for the billboard. Did you? It was startling. Yeah? Yeah. So, anyway. Well, I got the, the annual... They come and take pictures and all that. We noticed your electrical system may be over 30 years old. And we'd oh. just like you to get it inspected. Yep, there you go. Yeah. I try to keep them Whatever. away from the store. Whatever. But I'm insured to the high heavens, in other words. Yep. But I like it. I like it. Well, I'm, yeah, I'm a happy, insured individual. When you need it. When you, you need it. You want it to work. Right. And when you buy that 1-800 like on insurance car. and it don't work, then you're, then you're aggravated. Right. It's like the horn so. and the brakes and the steering on your car. Right. You might not like paying to get them fixed, right. but you want them to work. And it's like them extra numbers on your speedometer. Uh, you don't always need them, but it's just nice to know that they're there. Right. <laughs> You've got in your case. insurance company's attention right now, so you right. might want to back off of that one. Oh, that's right. I forgot all about that. <laughs> right. Well, now they put these gizmos in your car where they can tell how fast you're going. Oh, I know. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. think a lot of people don't know this. Somewhere in your airbag is a thing that when they go off, it will also tell how fast you were going when it went off. Well, it's not in your airbag. It's actually your computer. Is that what it is? Yeah, and it, it records all kinds of stuff. Okay, your so like if there's a fatal accident or something like that, and they're really digging deep. Yep. And like a light bulb. They can tell, you know how people say, I have my turn signal on. Right. Okay, they can tell by when a bulb busts whether the filament was on or whether the filament wasn't on. Hmm. Because it but what will if have, it was in the middle of the blank, like it was in the off? I think it's warmer at that point than if it was completely off. Oh, okay. I think there's some blanket. tests they can do right. to determine um, if it was really on mm. or not really I on, even machine. though the ball. You know, <laughs> I don't have the. <laughs> I'm not even sure if it's in Milford. Oh. <laughs> but anyway, it's just a thing <laughs> Probably they can in Lincoln. do. It might be in Lincoln. Or Allendale. Allendale, yeah. All right, All right. I'm going to go. Are we back on I the radio? Okay, you'll tell me, right? Okay, just checking. Right.
<laughs> All right. So anyway, folks, we are here at Smith's Cafe. Real quick, I think we'll do a phone call. Is that all right, everybody? All right, 422-7336. If you would like a gift card to Vanderwins, call me right now, 422-7336, and I'll give you one. you got to pick it up at Weller's in Bridgeville. We are going to be closed on Monday. I forgot to mention that. Weller's is going to – well, we're out of time already. We're coming back on the radio. Who's working there today? Kate. Kate. Kate, good morning to you. Thank you for everything. We are back on the radio so we're live, live, live right here. So Jim Weller here. You are listening to Weller Does Del Marva. I believe that'll be Justin Ward. So good morning. Is this Justin? Good morning, Jim. It's Justin Ward. And you're a good sponsor of the show. I was telling people, just you're just a great sponsor. And what makes a great sponsor is somebody that pays their bill. And I appreciate that. <laughs> so try. will you do a good job at it? Now, listen to me. Are you working today? Uh, yes, sir, I am. All right. We're talking about Invisible Fence brand Delmarva, correct? Yep. I am uh, working actually on our western territory or western Maryland territory, Carroll County, Maryland. I'm actually on my way up there right now. Uh, playing this weekend, long weekend, so we got some projects scheduled. And, uh, we're working with a lot of our GPS programs and stuff like that right now. Uh, doing one-on-one -on -one training. Uh, September looks a little slow, but... Uh, I think everybody's kind of figuring out their plans, getting to school and right. uh, getting their new routine down. So uh, they're reaching back out. Uh, we offered for the end of the summer a $200 discount on any installation. So uh, I think a lot of people are taking advantage of that. Okay. We've also seen a lot of our um, increase in uh, indoor units and uh, collars. Uh, it's a little ways out, but Thanksgiving and Christmas, a lot of people are trying to prepare to get the dog trained for when the family comes over and stuff like that. They're not getting food or getting on Christmas trees or jumping on counters or jumping on any guests that show up at the house. So yeah. a lot of people are prepared for that right now. And, so uh, like, they're, they're taking advantage of that uh, $200 off. How long does the $200 off go for? Uh, we're going to run it till the end of September right now. Okay. Um, and you have some good luck. Might expand a little bit faster. All right. Well, the people that take advantage of it are going to have good luck. They're going to save $200. Now, estimates are free. Is that right? You actually come out Correct. and visit with them. You actually meet the dog. Yep. The dog, um, we come up with different, different packages. A lot of people want to quote over the phone. It's kind of hard to do that just because we're all customization, um, depending on what kind of warranties they want, what kind of technology they want, where their budget's at. I mean, we're pretty flexible in trying to fit each, each and everyone's client um, their, their budget. Trying right. To meet, meet a halfway at least. And you have different al yep. and different alternatives. In other words, you know, you could put in the fence. You can use the rock. There's different things you can do. Yep. A lot of times, uh, once you get out there, a lot of people don't think about, with us being in business so long, people think about other things that might come into play once they do install fence. And, and it channels that dog's behavior, like getting in the flower bed, because now the dog hangs around the house more. They might get in the flower bed, or they might get into the trash can. <laughs> behavior is always going somewhere and we want to focus and from our experience we find issues that could occur down the road so well yeah, very we good try to add on that. Uh, we, we want to we want a long lasting customer that's happy so we don't want anything that's a quick fix right what's your phone number justin uh they can contact or uh contact us or text us at 410-546-2436 all right. Check that out at Delmarva at visiblefence.com. All right. We're going to leave you. Is that okay? Yep. I appreciate it. All right. Have a good weekend. See ya. You do the same. Bye. All right. I want to talk about Jerry Santoro, another good sponsor, sponsor, supporter of the show. Um, Jerry's Lawn Care. Jerry Santoro, good guy, local guy, free estimates. I've been dealing with him for years. So if you need lawn care, um, if you need some tree work done, maybe some trees trimmed, um, cut up, cut down, stumps, ground up, dug up. You need a foundation dug or created. Um, whatever you may need, Jerry Santoro's estimates are free. He's an honest, fair guy to deal with. Um, he also does irrigation systems. He also does pavers. He also clears lots. Like if you're getting ready to build a house or need a lot cleared or whatever, he can help you with that. He sells mulch, and he also sells firewood seasoned 
Hardwood. So his name is Jerry Santoro. His business is Jerry's Lawn Care. I had a rental property recently that I just wanted the grass cut. Um, I wanted some areas cleaned up around the building and uh, trimmed up and uh, just spruced the property up. And um, he, I, I think he did it this week. I don't know for sure, but he's going to do it. And I just gave him a call. He said, Jim, I got it. I'll take care of it. Just a good guy. So if you need any kind of lawn care, you need anything done that Jerry's Lawn Care might or might not do, you give him a call because estimates are free. His phone number is 302 302- 363-6025-363-6025. On the web, it's jlc-llc.com. All right, and like him on Facebook. It's uh, Denise and Jerry Santoro. All right, we got a phone call. Phone call. Caller, are you there? Hey, good morning, Jim. How you doing? Oh, pretty good. And um, are you calling about the ice cream? I am. All right, and what is your name? Uh, this is Carrie. Gary, how you doing? Pretty good. And um, you ever been to Vanderwins? Uh, I have. It's been a little bit. All right. Well, you can pick up a gift card anytime today after 930 um, or next week at Wellers in Bridgeville. How about that? All right. I appreciate it, Jim. All right. Have a good weekend. All right. You too. Bye-bye. All right. Real quick, we're going to talk to Chad Robinson in just a minute. But I want to also tell you that Wellers is open. Um, any minute Uh, we open at eight o'clock today and uh, today we're open eight to one we will be busy today we know that we got that but we will take care of you so if you need a trailer shed carport kayak swing set or some ink pens we can help you out at wellers in bridgeville okay now we're going to talk to chad he goes by chad and um, this is chad robinson and we just had him on a week or two ago talking about something different it feels like i was just here just here I deja mean, vu it is deja vu we were like talking right about in the same spot the town of harrington's 150th anniversary that's right that's exactly what we we're talking about good um, memory yeah harrington heritage days right and harrington heritage day yep just this past saturday went great was so, a big turnout big turnout lots of folks in downtown harrington combines in the street lots of vendors and food so it was, it was it very was good. very good yep all right now What's the next thing we're going to talk about? Food Bank Delaware? That's what we're going to talk about today. Yeah, we're coming up on a big event right in Bridgeville. So it's it's an exciting T.S. Smith's and Sun Orchard. Yep, it's our dinner in the orchard. Um, It'll be on September 11th at 530. And... um, we're just we're so excited it's a great um, partnership we have with local farmers and um, just really able to highlight the local produce that gets grown right here in our community um, and invite folks to come out in the orchard and have dinner so it's fun so this is a friday night saturday night so actually a wednesday night wednesday night wednesday night september 11th all right so you buy a ticket that's right you come to t.s smith's that's right and there's tables and chairs that's right so um actually a lot of people don't know that right across the street from the goodwill um in uh in bridgeville is a road called orchard's end and if you follow that all the way back t.s smith has a beautiful pavilion back there i had no idea see look at that a lot of people don't know it's like a hidden gem back there and uh we set up tables and chairs back there and everything right right by their um their peach orchard and uh, if people just come out like you said they buy tickets forty dollars you can get them on our website www.fb bd.org and uh they come out that night and get to enjoy a dinner cooked by our culinary students uh, and our chefs highlighting all that local produce from um all around delaware really yeah it's fun wow. is there music there's music yep the darren o'neill band's going to come out and play so um it's just a good time it's a good night to be with folks in the community and just support a great cause or because it's a, a fundraiser for food bank that's right yep yep okay so great, do people the, also bring any non-perishable food oh, items it, or we never I, I we never know. turn we never okay, turn that so down it's, it's, they can absolutely they can okay. yeah we never turn down when folks want to make a food donation so they can certainly bring that out um but really it's just a it's a it's a financial donation uh, to the food bank all the proceeds from the event go back into our um our programs here in milford so they stay right here in, in kent and sussex county so it's a great way for people to support the food bank get a good meal and quite frankly learn a little bit more about what we do well how do people get tickets Folks can go on our website. It's www.fbd.org. When you get there, it'll be a beautiful pop-up picture. Kim Turner, our communications director, does a wonderful job with a website. So you just click right there. And it'll you can take buy them right website, online. Buy them right online. Can you buy all you want? I you mean, can, can buy you buy five many. or ten? Or? You can buy as many as you want. Okay. Katie, you ready for a picture? Katie is taking our picture. Katie's these, so good at this we picture We post thing. these in the post office once a week. Well. But anyway. Um, 
So no limit to the tickets. So, no you know, tickets. some businesses might say, you know what, I want a way to reward my customers, but yep. I want to also help the food bank. That's right. I'm going to go ahead and buy five or ten tickets and yep. give them out or give them to my employees or yep. something like that. That's that's an excellent idea to do. And and folks will learn a little bit more about what we do. We find out a lot of a lot of folks in the community know we exist, but they don't know about all of our programs. They, they might be uncertain about what we do, and they might be uncertain about what hunger looks like in Delaware. So it's a great way to also, if you have folks that are just interested to learn a little bit more about what's going on in the community they can find that out too food bank's been around a little while we have um so since the mid 1980s um can do an incredible work across the state last year we distributed over 10 million pounds of food um to uh, food insecure delaware and that's not like in a tractor trailer that's in small increments that's in small increments yep 10 million pounds of food 10 million pounds of food yep and so we couldn't do it without a, a network of partners from all over the state so we've got about 506 partners all throughout the state food pantries, food closets, soup kitchens, child nutrition sites, senior nutrition sites, where that food's getting distributed out um, into the community. So you might find out a little bit about it um, at your new location there where you're heading in a couple weeks to the cheer center. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. we have partnerships down there as well. All right. Well, that's where we're headed to yep. Georgetown. That's what that's what I heard. So that's I was what I heard. That's the rumor. On the way in. That's the and rumor. And Denise is going to come too. I heard. Right. Look at that. I yep. mean, so it's kind of exciting. So food bank, great organization. Um, there's volunteer opportunities also all always, the time. I think always volunteer opportunities. So uh, folks can again log onto that same website fbd.org. Right. Um, you click on the volunteer link in the upper right hand corner. It's going to take you to a calendar. You can see every day what shifts we have available, if there's spots open. You can sign up right there online and then just show up that day um, that you signed up for. So it's real convenient. F- folks can fit it into their schedule mm-hmm. and not have to worry about, you know, being back and forth on the phone with somebody. They can right. do it right just online. Just put it down and, and it'll work out. Yep. All right, yep. one more time. We're really promoting this, uh, I forgot what it was called. Dinner in the Orchard. Dinner in the Orchard. Yep. Kind of a, a memorable evening. A, a good event. It's yep. a fundraiser. Not going to hurt anybody. Not good at food. All. Good fellowship, uh, good support of the food bank. Forty dollars a person. Forty dollars a person. And September eleventh, five thirty, right there in Bridgeville at T. S. Smith's um, Pavilion on Orchards End Road, and folks can get their tickets www.fbd.org. Foodbankdelaware.org. You got it. All right. Anything else you'd like to say? I think you're doing a great job, and I'm we'll trying. Have, to, have to get you uh, down to a. I'll have to. I'll have to come down and see your new location please, in Georgetown. Please, and if you ever have something to promote, if you can give me a month or two's notice, it's wonderful. Ah, uh, you sir, sure will. Okay, thanks a lot, Thanks, Chad. Jim. Have a good weekend. You okay? too. See you soon. See ya. All right, we got another phone call. All right, caller, yes, are sir. you there? Hey. Good morning. How are you? I am doing well. Just got back from a walk. A walk? What kind of walk? Like a cooking uh, walk? No, <laughs> a foot walk. Your wife inspired me this morning, so I, I got up and I went for a walk. How really? Are you yeah. calling for ice cream? Uh, I am, sir. All right, and what's your name? It's Skip, S-K-I-P. Skip. And you're spelling it S-K-I-P today? That's right. <laughs> All right. And have you listened before, your first time, radio, TV? Where are you watching us? I am listening to you on the radio. All right. I have listened before. All right. And where are you from? Uh, Greenwood. Greenwood. You ever been to Vanderwins? I have been. All right. And what do you think of their ice cream? Delicious. Good. Unbelievable. We All went right. the other day, and uh, we were blown away with the servings. Yeah, they just took care of us, and it was a good experience. Right. Our, their card says one scoop, but it's always more than one scoop. I was going to say, yes. Yeah. Well, we're going to set one aside for you, Skip, okay? All right. Well, thank you very much. All right. Take care. All right. You have a blessed day. You too. Bye-bye. All right. So that was what we were doing. We were giving away some gift cards to Vanderwin's Ice Cream, and they do say one scoop. I'm sure you all heard we got scolded one day for it only being one scoop, and I just can't get over it. So anyway, we really put the disclaimer out there that the thing says it's one scoop, but it never really just is. Get over it. Stop talking about it, Jim. All right. Hurt my feelings. But anyway, DryZone.com. DryZone's been a good supporter, good sponsor of the show. want to say thank you, Bill and Heather, for all you do. Okay? If you are listening and watching and you need crawl space encapsulation, if your basement is leaking and you said it was never supposed to do this, is there a solution? There's absolutely a solution. If you need electrical work done, they can help you with electrical work. If you've got some concrete that's sagging or dipping or raising or rising, they can level it with their poly-level service. 
Okay, so there's a lot of things that Dry Zone does. They do it well. They are also always looking for more employees, and they call them teammates, Team Dry Zone. And I have a billboard in Ellendale. I put an ad up there for Dry Zone. Said we're hiring. They immediately got a phone call, and Bill told me the other day that they actually hired the guy. So they put an ad up. They got an interest, and they hired the guy. It's kind of cool. So anyway, DryZone.com, if you want to learn more, 684-5034 is the phone number. Dial it in that order, 684-5034. Give them a call. Tell them I sent you whatever kind of services you need. If you want to learn more, their website will tell you a lot. You can also stop by their location, which is right there on Beach Highway. I call it Route 16. It's a big red barn with a white roof and a blacktop drive and a sign out front that says, Dry Zone, dead giveaway. Check them out. Bill, Heather, thank you for your support. DryZone.com, Team Dry Zone, like their Facebook page, and here we go. First time on the show, somebody I have got to know here recently, Andrew Thornley, owns a business. I call it pressure washing. He calls it soft washing. So, Katie, we're ready. Whenever Katie is ready, we're ready. Katie, 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 tell me when we're ready. I want to start this interview, gal. I can't do a thing without her. She won't let me. All right. The timer is on. Andrew, how you doing? I'm good, man. How are you? Real good. Yeah. And uh, welcome to Weller Does Del Marva. Thanks. And uh, you look a little nervous. Uh, not really. Not really? All right. So tell me about your business. Uh, so Softwash Solutions LLC is my business that I started about three years ago. Um, a lot of people, like you said, are familiar with power washing. Correct. But uh, the technique that I do is soft washing, so it's a chemical application and a rinse. That's all right close to that, anyway. It's a chemical application and a rinse. Right. Um, it pretty much does all the work. You can get the windows and everything without blowing through the seals. Uh, I, it's, it's, it's safe I had somebody that. bring that to my, as, as not you, but I had somebody say to me, you know, Jim, by not power washing, not with a high pressure, you don't have to worry about breaking a seal on a window. Right, right. And it also allows us to do uh, roofs. We can take the black streaks. A lot of people get the black streaks on the roof. Yep. And then that's the form before moss. So if you don't get, get it taken care of, it'll actually turn to moss. Wow. So the soft wash solution, we can take care of the roofs. And that shortens the life of your shingles. Yeah, it'll a eventually eat away the shingles. Really? Yeah. And you clean the gutters? Gutters. We do gutter cleaning, uh, gutter brightening. Um, and I also install covers. Oh, do you really? Well, like yeah. a leaf guard or something yep, like it's that? it's a snap-on cover, yeah. Snap-on cover. So you do that. Yep. Um, but like I had you recently do a house. I think you did the sheds mm -hmm. um, and the big cement pad, the yeah. sidewalk, the front porch, the back Came steps. Out good. It, it all looked great, your pictures. Yeah. Uh, now, your Facebook page is Soft Wash Solutions. Uh, it's actually Facebook.com slash Call Soft Wash. Call Soft Wash. Yep. Okay, and I want to encourage people to go to that page because you've got quite a variety of I saw some pictures there where you got one half of the roof done, one half of the roof not, yeah. and and the difference is unbelievable. Yeah, a lot of times uh, the before and after pictures. So a lot of people, when they get their house washed, they'll still have gray sh streaks on their gutters. Okay. Um, it's called tiger striping. I actually do a gutter brightening that'll take care of those streaks. Okay. Um, and it's a scrub of the gutters, but it, it'll literally make them look like brand new again. It did. Same thing with the it roof. Did. Um, it'll make a roof look like it, it just got put on. I agree. You ready for the picture, Katie? All right, Katie likes to take a picture of us, and we appreciate Katie. All right, so anyway, do you do free estimates? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so do you go out, or do you just yeah, do a Google map and say, here's how nah, I go out to all the estimates just to make sure, because sometimes, you know, Google's not really up to date. Right, um, like and you want to do, and you want to look at what you got to do. Yeah, sometimes they might, you know, say they just want the house washed, and then I get there, and they're like, oh, well, the sidewalk and the steps and the deck, so I right. like to go out there and take a look at really what needs to be done and kind of go from there. And also, when we talk about these chemicals, you told me they're safe for the shrubs and yep. plants, and they're also safe for animals and so on, yep, so nothing to worry about there. Nothing at all. All right, now, last week, I kind of prepped everybody that you were going to have this crazy offer, maybe 5% off or 10% off or something like that, and you said to me, no, I think I'm going to do a little more than 5 or 10% yeah. off. Are you still up for an offer? Yep, I got one. All right, what um, are you thinking about doing? So for today, um, if you call in and get an estimate on your house wash, um, I'm going to give 20% off of exterior cleaning. That's so. a lot, man. Yeah. 20 percent think yeah. if it was 300 dollars, that'd be 60 bucks off that's good you good with that's that a deal right that's a real deal that's i just deal. I'm, I'm sitting here as a businessman thinking 20 percent off is a lot because i had the house done i was very happy with the price mm -hmm. and um you did a great job you came when you said what i also liked is you did come out and give the estimate right i have dealt with some people in the past where they just do a google thing and they give me an estimate i hate estimates when nobody's looked at the job 
Yeah, because that means they're going to get there and say, that wasn't included, that wasn't included. You know, where when you come out, there's no misunderstandings. Right. So an estimate is free. Estimates are always free. Now, what we're saying is you got to call him today, tomorrow, what, sometime next week? And, sometime within the week. Sometime within yep. the week. And you got to somehow, some way say, I saw you on Jim Weller's show. I heard you on Jim Weller's show. I want to save 20%. I want to get I, I want to get this done. I actually did a job for a guy last week, and he said, I heard about you on uh, Jim's show. He said, cut to the chase. He said, what's the deal? <laughs> so he had he, to give it up early. Yeah, give it up a little and bit Probably early. somebody that knew me acting yeah. that way. So, um, so 20% off. Yep, 20% right. off. And also... Um, this year we're getting into dryer vent cleaning. A lot of people oh, um, don't. Good idea. Yeah, I mean, a lot of the customers that I do, you know, I see the dryer vents all day long, and they're jam packed full of stuff. And right. a lot of people, they really don't pay attention to it. You know what I mean? And some people I've heard say they've never had it cleaned. Yeah. And dryer vent um, is a ranked leading cause in house fires. So I believe it. It's, I it's had mine clean one day a couple years ago. Uh -huh. I was amazed at how much stuff, came, stuff out came out of there. Yeah. I was like, this is unsafe. This yeah. is not this it, is not good. It's all lint. I mean, it can yeah. catch on fire pretty quick. So, 20% off soft wash solutions, Andrew Thornley. The only thing left to do is tell people how to get a hold of you. Well, you can get us on Facebook at Call Soft Wash. Um, we're on Google, and also the phone number is 302-228-3751. Uh, Facebook again is call soft wash and 302 228 3751 3751-228-302-228-3751. I do need to put the date. What is today's date? It is August 31st, 31st 2019. So I don't want somebody to listen to this a year from now. <laughs> you know what I mean? In other words, because they're all saved right. and on Facebook. Right. So August 31st, 2019. This offer is good for about five or six days, maybe seven days from now. You're going to get 20% off if you call for a free estimate, have Andrew come out and look at it, schedule some work. And now, how quick will you do the work? Will you do it in, in, in a week or two? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I okay. To, well, I, I didn't know if you're 30 days out. or No, I, I try to take care of it as quick as I can. Okay. Um, sometimes, you know, it's a couple days out. Sometimes it could be a week out. Okay. Uh, just depending on what but I not, have on the schedule. But not 30 days out. No, nothing that okay. far out right well, now. Well, good. All right. All Anything right. else? That's it, man. Anything else you need to say? We got the name. We got the phone number. Um, I mean, all I right. can go over the services. We pretty much clean everything exterior, decks, uh, mailboxes, siding, mailboxes, okay. anything exterior. Um, do roofs, gutter brightening, windows, surface cleaning. Um, like I said, we do handyman services, fleet washing, and we're getting into dryer vent cleaning this winter. So, okay. Anything exterior will take care of you. 20% off if you mention Jim Weller or Weller Does Del Marva. Thank you, Got sir. It, all right. Appreciate thanks a lot. It. Thank you. Have a good weekend. There he goes, Andrew Thornley, all right? He will take care of you. 20% off. That is one of the biggest discounts that uh, we've had offered on this show. I was a little nervous for him, but he said, nope, I know what I'm doing. I want to do it. 20% off. We'll pass that along. I want to talk real quick about my chiropractor friend, another good supporter, sponsor of the show, and his name is Dr. T, Dr. Trillia. Dr. Bud is his partner, not partner in business, but his partnering chiropractor there. So Dr. T owns the business. Dr. Bud works with him, but they work just like a team. You go down there, you got any questions, it's like a wellness center. They know what they're doing. They're friendly. They're knowledgeable. They work with kids. They work with adults. They accept most insurances. If you have a question, they can answer it, you know, in reference to insurance. Um, and I like dealing there. I was there yesterday, and I had like eight different people that I saw there that I knew that didn't even work there. So it's not like I, I saw the people that worked there and knew them. I'm talking about different customers. People have been dealing with them for a long time. So if you need a chiropractor, if your kid's got a problem with their shoulder or their hearing or whatever it may be, a lot of things start. A lot of things start with the central nervous system and uh, go from there. So you give a call, 302-629-4344. Tell them I sent you, PeninsulaChiroCenter.com on the web, and like them on Facebook if you would. Now, we're going to take a break in just a moment from the radio. So for my radio audience, please, please, please switch over to Facebook right now. Just look up Jim Weller, and it's not G-Y-M, it's J-I-M Weller. Jim Weller, no H, it's not Wheeler, it's Weller. Jim Weller on Facebook. And that way you won't miss anything. Because for all I know, Colin Walls is going to say something epic 
like he's never said before or he's going to lose his cool and flip out. It's hard to say what he's going to do, but you'll be able to see him and hear him on the Facebook or the YouTube. All right, I hear the music. We're taking a break from the radio, and we will be back in just a couple minutes on Delaware 105.9, but we are continuing on Facebook, Facebook, Facebook. All right, everybody, thank you. Now, we had some people call up for ice cream. Okay, so thank you to those people that called. And I do want to ask, as you do win and call, um, I'm going to ask everybody, as you call, if you've won in the past couple weeks, give it a break for a couple weeks. But we appreciate each and every person that does call in on a weekly basis. And we are going to be moving the show. So this week is uh, our six-year show, 312. Next week will be our last week at Smith's Cafe. So if you want to join us and hang out and watch the show, we're going to be here today till 9 and next week from 7 to 9. And after that, we are moving. We are actually loading up everything, and we are moving all the way to Georgetown, to the Cheer Center. Okay? And we're going to be inside the Cheer Center. We're going to be outside the Cheer Center. We're going to be all over the place. I think in the future, you'll, <laughs> you'll be able to drive up and get your gift card to Vanderwinds and drive on. It'll be a drive-by gift card convention. And uh, we're also going to allow people to bring things and try to mm. sell it. We're going to have some fun. That's going to be fun. No animals, though. No animals. The ability to go outside. Yes, is, is big. Is, yeah, it's going to be It's huge. huge. It's huge, huge, huge. It's huge. We're going to be able to have free hot air balloon rides, helicopter wow. rides, camel rides. It's going to be unbelievable what we can do there. You're building okay? this up a little bit Goat here, races, pig races, <laughs> horseshoeing. It's hard to say what we're going to do. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Colin, are you ready to top this with I'm, your ad? I'm not ready. <laughs> I'm ready for all that stuff in a couple weeks. Oh, my. <laughs> all right. Talk to me. All right. Wall Service Center. So Wall Service Center has been in business for 61 years. We kind of discussed that last time. Okay. Um, and been around a long time. Oh, I know what I want to talk about. All right, go ahead. I just want to thank Delaware 105.9 and all oh, the other yeah. forever media stations here. And in the, the thousands in the upon thousands of people that reached out to you. Uh, yesterday, I was the person of the day. Congratulations. Oh, yeah. I don't know what I did, but, you know, it just goes to prove that hard work. You know, and, and buying enough advertising, and buying enough advertising <laughs> <laughs> can help you reach your dreams. Right, but actually, being... it was really fun. I'm glad they did it, and I oh, hope everybody I else neat. is having the results that I got from it. Yep. I got tons of text messages, phone calls, Facebook messages. Uh, people stopped in. One lady even stopped in and gave us cookies. Brought cookies wow. to us for that. So wow, where are they? Did you bring them with you? Uh, no. Oh, okay. They evaporated. Yeah, and they disappeared. They disappeared. But I, I just want to thank the radio station, Delaware 105.9, and all the other forever mm -hmm. media radio stations. Name them all, uh, Colin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What was it? 97.7. Oh, Eagle 97, Cool 1013, 97 won The Wave, Delaware 105.9, and AM 930, and 102.1 ESPN station. Forever media. All. I know them all. Yep, I we're forever one. fans did I miss of one? Forever Media. No, I don't know. La I don't think I did. Whatever. Okay, you got them all. I think so. Okay, very good. Yeah. Wall Service Center. Wall Service Center, downtown Milford. 61 years in business, auto repair, air conditioning work. We do lots of it. So if you're having a problem with your car's air conditioning, uh, let's get it checked out, figure out what the problem is. Just bring it to us to begin with because a lot of places you take it, they might be able to recharge it. But when it goes beyond that, Correct. they're going to say, Oh, you need to take it somewhere else. So, so just save bring the it money to, us to begin just, with. Right, do it all one and, stop. Exactly, and uh, let's let's figure out where the leak is. You know, if it's a leak, and deal with it. Recharge. Let's deal exactly. Deal let's with it. Let's deal with it. And uh, and I find a lot of people, actually, that's all they want. I just want to get it fixed. Right. Let's let's get it right. fixed. I don't want to spend annoying. a lot of time thinking right. about it and and running here. And Thought running I had there. it fixed when it got charged, but it still didn't do it. Right. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So and and sometimes you actually have to do that. You have to recharge it and put dye in the system to be able to see where the leak is and let the dye work through the system. Right. Um, and uh, and then we come back with the ultraviolet light and we look at where it's possibly leaking from. So. Right. But anyway, we know how to do it. We can do the job from start to finish. And we can do the job right, and we're going to give it to you mm -hmm. at a fair price. So. A fair price with yep. great warranties. Yep. Hey, we're a Nation you know. Delco dealer, too. Right. Nationwide warranties. Nationwide warranties. That's bigger than Milford, right? Yeah, yeah. Right. It's further than Delaware. It is, a little Nationwide. bit. Nationwide. 
nationwide. So Wall Service Center, give us a call, 422-8110, wallservicecenter.com on the web. All of our information is right there. And we're in beautiful, beautiful downtown Milford. The opulent downtown You've been in downtown Milford. Milford for 61 years. so I They built like a lot of Milford around you. They sure did. They really did. I wonder if the Miss Pillion River was there 61 years ago. I think ago. they put that in a couple years before that. Really? Yeah. Because they knew your, your grandfather was starting a business. Right. You know they straightened it, though. You know did Goat really? Island? Right. So Goat Island wasn't an island originally. It was created because they straightened it. it where it oh, goes for around, real? Yeah, where it goes around. Because it would make it easier for the boats? They did it, yeah, for ships to come in. So Maneuverability. They have to maneuver around that, that sharp turn there. Really? Yeah, so they, they can't bump it, it into shore. Yeah, right. <laughs> Get wedged Might in have. there. Well, I guess by straightening it, it made it so it could be deeper so they could bring bigger boats, right? Right, yep. Because there used to be a shipyard. There were several shipyards along the there. We need to get there. Sudler Laughlin on the ship. Oh, Sudler or Joan might love to talk about the shipyard. That's a good idea. We might That's have... a great idea. Yeah. Who thought of that? I think you Uh-oh. just did. We're coming back on. Joan Laughlin. Joan or Sudler. Right. I'll work on that. All right. All right, we're back on the radio, everybody. So uh, here we are, and uh, you are listening to Weller Does Delmarva. That's exactly what the show is called, Weller Does Delmarva. And we are here in Smith's Cafe. Dawn is going to be joining us in just a little bit. Uh, She's been waiting to talk all this time. If you don't know Dawn and you come into Smith's Cafe, I want you to ask for her by name, okay? Dawn. And rub your hands together when you uh, do it, so she'll know you're thinking of Dawn dish detergent. So anyway, <laughs> ask for Dawn by name when you come in. She does a great job. We are going to miss Dawn because she comes in on Saturday mornings, does a great job of getting us our food even before the show. She's uh, got the pre-show food ready. So she's unbelievable. She was probably one of the top students in her class when she went to high school. Um, I've just never met anybody like her. So um, she's just outstanding in her community. And I think she even likes to ride a motorcycle now and then. So with that said, her name is Dawn. They made a song about her. I don't know what else to say about this young lady. Um, But she does a good job. And she's not coming on. It's that simple. So anyway, we're here. The show is called Weller Does Del Marva. You say, who in the world thought of this show? I don't know. It's like Evolved, okay? We've had a lot of fun. This is our sixth year, 312 shows today. Can't believe it. Same date as my birthday, March 12th. So I want to tell you about another good supporter sponsor of the show. We have them. We have a lot of good supporter sponsors of the show. And this one is my accountant. His name is George Luff, and he owns Luff & Associates, and they have three locations. So I've done some advertising for him, talked about him. I've met some people that have started dealing with him. He also does payroll, met some people that are getting their payroll done by him. And it's got a location. It's it's got. He's got. George has a location in Milford, one in Dover, and one in Rehoboth. And it's called Luff & Associates, LuffCPAs.com on the web. I like dealing with them. I've been with them a long time. I've been in business since I was 16. That sounds like 45 years ago. I've been dealing with him at least 25 to 30 of those years. He's the second. He's only the second accountant I've ever had. My first one was a guy from Harrington, Bobby Everline. A lot of people knew him. He passed away very young. And uh, since then, I've been dealing with George Luff and been very happy. So if you need an accountant, it's Luff and Associates, okay? If you need some help with your payroll, you own a business and you're tired of fooling with payroll, you don't want to learn no more, I got it. They have a system called Easy Payroll. They can take care of things. There's always something changing, something new, problems, whatever. Whatever degree you need help, a little bit of help, a lot of help, Luff and Associates can help you with their Easy Payroll system. So you give them a call. Phone number, 302 422 9699 302 422 9699 it works best if you dial it in that exact order luffcpas.com on the web now here he is live and in person everybody has been waiting for his arrival this is one of his mother's favorite sons okay i don't even know if he has any brothers or not but anyway his name is will kenny Young man, um, soon, probably old enough to be driving, I think. Will, good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. Are you driving yet? Yes. Are you really? What do you ride around in? A truck. 
Full-wheel drive. Yep. Shotgun in the back window. Maybe. Maybe. All right. If not, a 30 out six. One or the other. But anyway, so you have something called Will's Carnival. Will's Carnival for a cause. For a cause. Yep. And every year it's a different cause. Yep. Okay. So this is a carnival that you started when you were like 11 years old? Yes, sir. Really? And your mom and dad got behind you and supported you and they said, let's go me with all this. all the way. They're pretty good parents, aren't really they? Really good parents. I mean, I'm sure they got some flaws somewhere. 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 But anyway, um, good parents got behind him. Katie's going to take a picture, so we now have to look at her and not stop talking, okay? So anyway, um, so this is a carnival. You have it. There's no charge to get in. There's no charge for parking. Um, it's just a good time. Yep. Had by all. Chickberry Farms. Chickberry Farms in Laurel. Right. And how did you pick Chickberry Farms? Well, they're uh, really close family friends. Okay. And I gave, I talked to a lot of my close family friends about the idea just to get opinions. Right. And they were eager to have us have it at their site as soon as we gave them an idea without so even So it's hesitation. been there every year? Every year. Okay. Now, this is a carnival geared more towards kids. Yes. But adults are allowed to come. Of course, yes. And have fun. Yep. We have okay. a sign auction. Uh, geared towards adults, and then we okay. had games and rides geared towards kids. Kids. But you had this big round thing one time. The pipe that race. Adults or kids could have got in. Yep. You got that this year? Yep, we'll have it all it's, years. It's this great big round pipe that you go inside of mm -hmm. and stand up and you walk along, but you might fall over and crawl along. You might. And you roll it to the other end of a field or something, right? Yep. There's a track. You roll it down and back, and whoever's first back within the two wins. wins. So you could be an adult and get beat by a kid. Oh, yeah. It's, it, it can happen. I've seen it. Not that I participated, but I'm just saying. So a lot of fun, a lot of things for kids to do. There, is there a hayride type thing on a wagon? Yeah. Okay. And um, face painting? Oh, uh, yes. We'll have face painting there, too. We'll have around Petting 30. Petting zoo? Petting zoo. We'll have animals there to see. Um, we'll have over around 35 games, okay. rock wall, bounce house, shooting gallery, virtual reality, karaoke. Really? Yep. Katie could sing karaoke? She could. Oh, that, would be great. that would be great. We'll be selling tickets for that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now your mom loves to sing karaoke, doesn't oh, she? She loves it. She loves it. All right. So anyway, um, when is this? This is uh, October 13th. October 13th. From 12 to 1, we'll be holding an extra hour for uh, families that have autistic children. Oh, that's very so nice. So they can enjoy it on their own without, time is, without a crowd yes, to bother them. Yes, very nice. And then from 1 to 5, everyone else can join in. Okay. So, Chickberry Farms is where it's at. There's a Facebook page. Yep. What's that called? There's Will's Carnival for a Cause. Okay. And then there's also Will's Cause. There's Will's Cause. There's two different ones. Two Will's different Cause ones. is geared to helping everyone out so it's not just the carnival it's all okay. the charities okay and then will's carnival cause is just the uh event really yes okay and this is your fifth year sixth year sixth year six year is it your last year this will be the last year how come college you're going to college hopefully oh i'm sure you will i'm sure you will um what do you want to be when you grow up civil engineer really so that would be where like you have two people that aren't being civil to each other oh yeah you get in the middle of it and help it Make sure they fix it out. <laughs> right. All right. So do you need anything? You need any donations? You need any auction items? Silent auction items will always be greatly appreciated. Okay. Um, and then volunteers, of course, and people who want to do karaoke can sign up. Really? Yep. Well, I'm going to make a note. I got a really good silent auction item I want to give you. I'm going to give you a kayak. Okay. That you can auction off however you want to. Is that all right? That sounds great. Okay. And um, Will's, can you pick it up? or? Yeah. All you right. Can pick it up. All right. So Will's cause. I'm going to give you a kayak. How's that? Sounds great. Thank you. All right. You. And you can do whatever you want with it. You know, in other words, you know. Um, anything else you want to say or add? Or how do people reach you? Or what do they do? Uh, to reach us, you go through the Facebook pages that we said earlier. Okay. Send a message. Um, we have uh, catering by Lashers Barbecue like the Ooh, past Oh, it years. was good last year. It was great last year. Okay. Yep. And right. then Frozen Farmer's going to be there. Ice course. cream. Yep. Okay. They do a great job. Evans Farms, right? Yep. Yep. All right. And anything else? Uh, that's pretty much it. Just come out, support. Okay. And if you just want... Send people. If you're not allowed to come out or you uh, have another thing that day, you can still support the charity Autism Delaware. You can make a donation. You can still make donations. Okay. Very good. Spread the awareness as long as the cause is helped. 
That's all right. we're rooting for. Right. That's what trying to raise some money. Yep. Okay. And what was the cause this year? Autism Delaware. Right. I don't know why I didn't remember that. Okay. Anything else? Covered everything. Now, did your mom really want to talk today or not? Uh, I feel like she What's her to. name? Sandra? Sandy? Sandy. Sandy? Kenny? Yep. Where'd she go to school at? Laurel. Laurel. I wonder what her teachers would say. Is there any teachers of Sandy Kenny out there? <laughs> Sandy, did you want to join us? Is she saying no or yes? I can't tell. <laughs> she's very shy. Very tall lady, but she's very shy. <laughs> All right. Anything else? That's it. Thank you All for right. everything. Take care. And good luck. I'm going to try to make it. Okay. No promises. Thank you. I'll get the kayak ready. You can pick it up next week. All right. Don't come Monday, though. Okay? Right. Next week, whenever. All right? All right. See you. Thanks. All right. There he goes. A very good young man. Very proud of him. Glad having him on the show. Um, I don't know if I mentioned that I like my insurance agent. His name is Bill Strickland. And he's a supporter or sponsor of the show. It's called LNW Insurance. And I'm very happy with him. Katie, we got another guest? We do. All right. Well, I'm ready. We are running through them here today. So I wanted to tell you that I deal with LNW Insurance Agency, and I like dealing with them. And they support this show. They've sponsored this show for years. And I did buy insurance on my billboard. And, yes, I got the bill. But I'm really glad it's insured, okay? So we've got media insurance. Media media insurance we've got billboard insurance i've got car insurance i've got liability insurance we're getting ready to have a knitting circle up here it looks like but anyway um so i just want to tell you that if you need insurance if you want to talk about insurance if you want to get a second opinion a third opinion whatever if you want to compare what you have to what somebody else is telling you lnw insurance agency um lnw insurance agency is who I deal with. I've been very happy with them. I've dealt with them for a long time. So if you need insurance, whether it's homeowners, life insurance, health insurance, whatever, um, the only insurance I have that I won't know how it works is my life insurance. I won't know whether they handle that well or not, but I'm going to trust and pray that they do. So if you need insurance, you give them a call, 856-7828, 856-7828, lwinsurance.com lwinsurance.com on the web facebook very active on facebook so like their facebook page if you would lnw insurance agency tell them i sent you good people i like dealing with them all types of insurance right down to renters insurance they can help you out now i know we're not going to be able to get all of these people on camera i guess if they would like they can stand behind Okay, it's up to them. I mean, if I want them, if they're all singing, I want them to be on camera. Okay, I mean tap dancing, whatever they're doing. All right, I believe somebody here is named Lynn. Is that right? Yes. Lynn Riley. Yes. All right. Oh, I'm sorry. You got to talk into that. Yes. Please. Oh, you got to scoot up. Sorry. Well, it's real important. We got a lot of rules, and if we don't sound right, people watch it. They send me emails. They said, who was that lady that wouldn't talk into the microphone? It's terrible. Be me. And, I mean, we have had complaints. Let me tell you about the ice cream complaint. No, I'm trying to get over that. But I'm just saying, when you have a show like this, you do get comments. All right? And we got to watch the cameras, not the monitor, and um, we need to have a good time. So, Katie... You tell us when we're ready because Katie starts the timer and I can't start talking until she does. Boom. The timer has started. All right. What are we talking about? Reese across America? Yes, we are. All right. Is this your first time being involved with it? No. This is actually our second year being involved in it. We, we found out about the program just on a fluke. On a fluke? Yeah. What's Facebook. a fluke? Is that like a floating <laughs> item? Or? Actually, we were all out on a fluke one day. <laughs> no, um, our mother passed away, and right. my sister saw on Facebook that you could purchase wreaths for the veterans cemetery in just out. And yeah. yes, and are you all sisters? We are. Yes, we, are. we are. Oh, we need to take a minute and introduce everybody. <laughs> but evidently, you got to talk into the microphone. Got to talk into them. All right, one by one. So, what is your name, young lady? Uh, Carolyn Powell. Carolyn Powell. Jackie Rowe. Oh, hold on. Carolyn Powell. Try it again. Jackie Rowe. Jackie Rowe. And Lisa Howe. Lisa Howe. I got to ask, where are y'all from? We're from Herlock. Herlock, Maryland? Yes. Cambridge. Wow. Cambridge? <laughs> All right. Herlock. Herlock, okay. And um, you went to school there? Yeah. We wow. Did. And so. I didn't know I was getting four sisters. This is wonderful, in other words. And you all still get along and love each other. Yeah, we do. That's wonderful. And we're women on a mission. Women on a mission. Yes. So, your mother passed away. Right. Heard My about Reese of America. On Facebook. So, okay. 
we purchased a few wreaths to go and put out on our parents' grave and aunt and uncle. And when okay. we got out there, we found out that there were about 1,300 wreaths to try to spread out over 7,000 graves. So they were asking you to kind of space them out so wow. that they kind of look. And we're like, you know what? This just won't work. Okay. Everybody's got to have one. Right. So we went on a mission last year to make sure that there was a wreath on every grave, and we accomplished that goal. Not just us. Really? We had a lot one of people lot helping. Of a lot of businesses helped. And Where are we talking about? Um, at the Veteran Cemetery in Beulah, just outside of Herlock. It's the only veteran cemetery on this side There's of the Bay 7, Bridge. 7,000? Actually, actually, more 7, than 7,650 right now. Yes, it has. Really? It has, yes. Lots of and who do you have that's buried there? Um, our parents. Our parents are there. Your father was in the military? Yes, and our uncle and aunt and my other sisters, her father-in-law, is there. So we just made wow. it a mission that it, it has to happen. I mean, these people fought for our country. Right. The least we can so, do is honor them with a, a So wreath. what you're trying to encourage people to do? Is to purchase, purchase a wreath. Correct. The wreaths are $15 a piece, and okay. for every two that someone buys, wreaths across America will donate us one. So we don't actually have to put 7,600 out there or, or get that sponsored. Right. If we sell about 5,000, they will give us the rest. And we, we're halfway there. There uh, is a cemetery in, around Maryland that has 7,000 graves. Mm -hmm. It's behind Preston Four. Is yeah. it really? Yeah. That, that road there. Wow. This is like something I don't know that everybody knows about. Correct. Do you say they do about... 20. They we need do to give her that money. They bury 20 to 25 there a month. Yeah. 20 to 25 people a month. Yes. And this That's was got to be hard to work there. Well, this is the that. the sunrise wow. the morning after last year. So that's we, an actual picture. Yes. This is the sunrise from the very next day. Um, a gentleman from Cambridge went out and he took a picture of the sunrise the next day. How many uh, wreaths is that? I don't know how many that is. A couple thousand. Mm -hmm. Probably, yeah, wow. when you look out and about, yeah. So, so we want people to purchase a wreath. Mm -hmm. $15 is all we're talking about. They're Correct. Fresh and they're fresh wreaths. Oh, and they're fresh wreaths. Yes. We put them out. We put them out. On you the guys, gals, you personally put these out. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, you got a whole group of people. Oh, yes. A lot of people. We're looking, for, people. we're looking for volunteers as well to come and help put them out. We put them out on Saturday, December the 14th at 10 a.m., and then we go back in the very first Saturday in February to pick them up. So what do you do with them after that? Um, they go to the landfill. Really? Mm-hmm. But this is something I had no idea. Katie, you never told me this existed. <laughs> take our picture, Katie. Hey, a lot Katie, of people didn't know it existed. Really? Well, they're going to know after today, hopefully. And uh, when the show is over, I encourage you to take it and share it on your Facebook page. Oh, we have a Facebook words, page. Right. And we're we're sharing it out there, and we're hoping that, I mean, we have we have a Facebook page, and if people want to donate, they can make their checks payable directly Reese to Reese across across America, and they can mail them directly to me. And okay. I, I'm we're trying to keep track of things that are do donated to us or through us, right. so that so you, we can you, thank who we need to when right. everything's all said right. and done. Is there a website for this? Or you're really steering them to you so you can keep track of things. Correct. Right, okay. They can so, donate directly online, but they have to specifically mm -hmm. have these group and location right. ID so I'm numbers. I'm going to just steer everybody to you. That's fine. Okay, so it's Lynn Riley. Mm -hmm. All right, we're not giving a phone number. We're giving an address. Is that but correct? But they can, they, you can give my phone Let's number as well. Let's do the phone number. It's 410. 410. 330. 330. 5452. Hold on. 410. 330. 330. Five four five two. Fifty four fifty two. Mm -hmm. okay. Dial it in that order. Yep. <laughs> Won't work if we mix the numbers <laughs> up. Okay. Will not. So I want people to call Lynn. We're talking fifteen dollars a wreath. Okay. Mm -hmm. What a great thing to do. Everybody has been connected by the military somehow because we live in a free country. Yep. Yeah. So yes. we need to be appreciative of that. You know, whether you had somebody in the military or not, your life has been impacted and we enjoy a lot of things. Thank you to all our military personnel. Absolutely. Um, I could keep this paper? Absolutely. Okay. Um, you can even keep that okay. picture. Now, I know you didn't want to drive all the way to Georgetown, it sounds like. Mm -hmm. but you are pretty insistent to get on while we're in Seaford. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. But if you want to be on again, let me know so we can um, get okay. you scheduled. Um, we're going to have less time to have people on once we move because it's going to be like we're going to have all kinds of fun. So, gotcha. in other words, so if you want to be on again, I'm, I'm offering you the time, but let okay. me know. Okay. Okay. All right. What else? Anything else? Because we are out of time. 
Wow, that time went fast. Um, anything else, though? Not that I can think of. All right, well, let's one by one. What do you do for a living? Um, I do payroll for Amick Farms in Herlock. That sounds like a big payroll. It is. There's okay. about 1,500 employees there. Really? Poultry processing. Okay, and you pay like once a year, once a month, every two oh, weeks? Oh, every week. Every, <laughs> every week, okay. Every All week. Right. What do you do? Um, I work at professional leasing here in Seaford. Oh, really? Counts payable. Okay, counts payable. Yeah. All right, pass it around if you would, and just what do you do? I work at a body shop. Really? I used to own, but um, now oh. I'm assistant manager. No kidding. All right. Um, I work at B&G Foods and Herlock, purchasing manager. Wow. So here's what I hear from a military family, hardworking ladies, wanting to make a difference. Yep. Amen. Thank you. Amen. So. Thank you. All right. I'm going to leave you, okay? All right. Thank you. Thank I didn't, you I didn't ask you your ages or <laughs> weight or <laughs> you didn't ask GPAs. Which one, you didn't ask which one's the oldest or the youngest either. That's right. Which one is the youngest? The youngest, <laughs> all right. And the oldest? There you go. All right. And we'll leave it at that. How's that? That's it. All right. Thank you all very Thank much. You Thank very you very much. All right. Nice seeing you. Bye-bye. You. Thanks a lot for coming. Uh -huh. This was a pleasure. We'd like to have you on again. That was pretty good, wasn't it? Rees Across America. Look it up. Check it out. Give Lynn a call. Get involved. We're only talking 15 bucks here. We're not talking a lot of money. So, folks, let's make a difference. What a beautiful picture. I don't know if uh, – can we zoom in on this maybe? I don't know. I don't know. It's no biggie, Colin. It's all right. Don't worry about it. Nope, I'm not going to add no more work to you. All right, here we go. This is a pretty nice picture. This is a real picture of what it looked like. Look at the look at the sun coming up across there. I don't know if it's coming up or going down, but isn't that something? That's a lot of grave sites. I never knew that existed. So reads across America, folks. And I can see my teeth pretty loud and clear. <laughs> hey, everybody, I did say something that's true. We're really going to be pressed for people to be on the show in the future so if you are watching or listening and you ever need to promote something or get on this show if you can give me a month or two or three's notice i would appreciate it we've got stuff scheduled already for next year our show is moving we're going to georgetown we're going to the cheer center um, we're going to have a lot of fun we're going to be doing things inside outside hey emory west called me yesterday i do have one more guest is that right katie I lost my list of people. I don't know how I did that. But anyway, I want to tell you that Emery West called me up, and he said, Jim, I need you to talk about what's going on in the Milton Park. How did I lose my paper? Is it on the floor, Katie? All right, I've lost my paper, but it doesn't really matter. I want to talk about Emery West and the Milton Park, okay? The Milton Park is like the hub of Milton. It's where everything happens, okay? And Emory West, he keeps me informed of what's going on. And here's what's going on today. It's called Music. It's um, Music in a Food Festival. So it's at the Milton Park. Now, that's in Milton, Delaware, okay? Not Milton, Hershey, Pennsylvania. Milton, Delaware. And it's called Music and Food Festival. Kathy Gorman's singing. Dave Hersher is singing. Shore Mix is singing. Timmons Family, No Spare Time, Tidewater Band, and Food by the Holy Smokers. Okay? Going to have chicken. It's going to be pretty darn good. They're going to have fish sandwiches, probably some other stuff. Bring your own chair. It's free. You say, well, what time does it start? 11 o'clock this morning. Goes all afternoon and into the evening some. So anyway, that's in Milton, Delaware. I see. We're going to be talking to Tony Crane in just a few minutes. Um, what do we got? We got another break coming up. Remember now, at 8.30, we take a break from the radio. So when we take a break from the radio, that's when we don't have to worry about all them FCC rules and we can do anything we want. It's unbelievable. We do it on Facebook and we do it on YouTube. So anyway, at 8.30, when we stop on the radio, we want you to switch over to Facebook real quick. We may give away some more of them uh, free Vanderwins gift cards, okay? Uh, we want everybody to love Vanderwins ice cream. Now, real quick, real quick, real quick. Atlantic, oh, I can't do it. I can't do it. I hear the music. I will back off of that commercial segment, and we will say we are taking a break from the radio. So please, everybody, switch over to Facebook right now, all right? If you wait 30 more seconds, it'll be too late. All right, so here we go. We're going to continue on with Weller Does Delmarva. We're right here at Smith's Cafe. 
And um, I just want to say hello, hello, hello. And uh, thank you for tuning in the show, watching the show. We are here every Saturday morning. This is our 312th show. And um, I want to say thanks a lot. Thanks a lot for uh, tuning in. And uh, we are going to be moving to Georgetown, Georgetown, Delaware, to the Cheer Center. And um, I just want to let you know that that's going to take place as of September 14th. And I am going to have a lot of fun. I've had a lot of fun here. It's just our time has expired. We um, only bought a permit so long to do this, and it has expired. Okay. okay? <laughs> so our permit has expired. And, and quite honestly, we just want to move the show around a little bit. Okay? Smith has been so gracious to us. They, uh, they feed us well. It's great. It's heated. It's air conditioned. The bathrooms are clean. We've been some places that weren't exactly like that in the past. But now we're here. So, <laughs> the food was uh, the biggest draw. I'm thinking the middle okay. of the field when we did that. That might have been the right for the equipment auction. Oh and yeah, you remember that? Yeah, I do. I do. In the middle of this big field over by the Harrington Fairgrounds. I remember that. Yep, yep. yep. All so, right, Katie, oh, you, you were, tell us when we can start. You reminded me what? when you said the permits. I was, I saw on Facebook that there was an event happening somewhere. And uh, I don't want to call anybody out, but there was an event happening somewhere. Okay. There was going to be food trucks there. And the town commented on the post, on the Facebook post, and said, just want to let you know that permits are required. A business license is required in the town if you're doing business in the town. So really? So letting the food trucks, I think. Know ahead of know. time. Get your permits. Right. And we might be there checking on it because we do know when it is, where it is. Because you just told us. Yeah. <laughs> right. So. Right. Well, yeah. I thought that was pretty good, though. Somebody yeah. was on their game. That is. And yeah. they're giving them a chance to be be compliant. But, uh, but you know, know. The, the license is 75 bucks. Right. So they need to calculate that into the cost right. of what it is. And I saw they had uh, a big sign that said $5 meals. And I'm like, they might go to $6 meals. You might meals. want to rethink that. Right. With $75. I mean, you've got to sell a lot. How many? Right. 15 at least to break even meals at five bucks right just and that's to, if all your helps volunteers all your helps volunteers the, and the food costs you nothing and right. didn't cost any gas to get there are you gonna take a picture it is a, it is a great segment. wall well, segment Katie. kind of a business by golly segment and she wants to waste our time by taking pictures huh yeah taking pictures with that old <laughs> worn out ipad yeah now nah, we need a new camera all right <laughs> now i appreciate the pictures i do want to tell you i got some new things we're going to do with the billboard and all those pictures are going to play a role in it. Shoo. Oh, I have discovered what I can do with this billboard. You're going to invite all his friends over in front of the we billboard. We are going to make a collage with a thousand pictures. <laughs> and then we're going to have a contest to where, you know, oh, it's going to be so much fun. Mm. Jackie is so excited. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. All right, Colin, you've been in business 61 years. 61 years. Why? Yeah. We have Why did you stay in business too. so long? Well, because we kept buying that business license. Okay, every year. And then you got to use you it once you buy it. it. That's right. Right. That's right. I All found right. buying the three years is better than buying one year at a time. You can buy three-year ones? Yeah. Man, did you get your tax bills? Property or Woo! which one? Yeah. <laughs> I got a house in Milford. Oh, no, My city of Milford. Taxes on the house were like six hundred and some dollars, and all the other taxes added up were only five hundred and some. I was like, "Man, it's a lot of money on a little house." Yeah, I just you talking about the city or the city and the county? No, one tax it was the city of Milford tax, and then the other one was the county and whatever else. Man, they might have something wrong there. I don't know. Well, anyway, we wrote I'll about look at mine when I get it. To we see wrote about twenty thousand dollars worth of checks yesterday for taxes. For taxes. Yeah. And then, well, thank you for supporting up. my kids in school. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, yeah, I agree. I mean, it's a good thing. It's right. a good thing. Because somebody paid for you to go to school. Somebody paid for me to right. go to school. You talking to that microphone girl? <laughs> Just over there heckling me. All right, but so, yeah, thank you. Like I'm this genius. Katie's like so happy that somebody educated me <laughs> and then launched me out into society. Right. In other words, don't hold Here him he up is. as a. That's not what she meant. I don't. Don't think. hold him up as the you know the poster boy for this is why. <laughs> this is why you education. pay your taxes. Right. All right, Wall Service Center. Yeah, Let me Wall get Service. your money's worth. Okay. Right. Four two two eight one one zero. Wall Service Center dot com on the web. Auto repairs of all types. Air conditioning. Uh, you know, lots of different things. So now you're not the type of person that says I'm a Ford guy and I ain't working on Chevys. No. Okay. 
You work no, on a I'm Volvo? I'm a Chevy guy, and I don't work on Ford. Oh, no, is that what it is? <laughs> Would you work on a Volvo? Uh, no, we do not. There's lots. That, oh, for so, real? I just guessed at oh, that no. one. European cars and stuff we don't work on because okay, okay. You know, they take they take special tools, special equipment. So Ford, Chevy, Dodge. Toyota, you know, all Toyota. the Asian cars we work okay. on. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Japanese, Korean. I was guessing at Volvo. I wasn't even yeah. specific. No, any any European car we really don't do any work on. Okay. You know, we'll do some oil changes Isn't on. Isn't that nice, though? Now, here's what I see there. You know what you're good at, mm -hmm. and you know what to stay away from. Yeah, uh, for sure. And, uh, you know, there's reasons we stay away from it. And, wow. And one of the reasons is, you know, there are special tools. Uh, that, right, and, and, we and don't this see one's one tool, and that one's one tool. Yeah, and we just don't see enough of them to make it worthwhile to do it. And, you know, there's lots of special training, so we like to know what we're doing when we're working on something. Right. You know, we want it to be familiar, something that we have experience in and, and something we that we can get parts and, and the tools for that we already have right. the tools for. And so, you don't have to use an adjustable wrench. Right, yeah. You want to use the right tool. Yeah, if your mechanic's using an adjustable uh, wrench on wrong. a lot of stuff, that's... You might want to red flag. Yeah, right. Warning, warning. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. This All isn't right. plumbing. We're doing. Right. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> they use a hacksaw and adjustable wrench. Be worried. Right. Or even a right. sawzall. Sawzall. He's really getting stuff done. <laughs> right. All right. So, all right. Thanks, Colin. All right, we'll see you. All right. You know, Tony Crane has been here a long time. Everybody, we're coming yeah. back on the radio. I hear it. So, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We are in the final half hour. Tony, come on down if you would. Um, your paperback. Hold on just a second. Sorry about that. I don't know where my paper got to. Them, woman them women took my paper. So, anyway, we're going to do a quick commercial for Atlantic Home Improvements. In fact, I'll skip that, and I'm going to go ahead and just go right to Tony. I saw you here early. So, this is Tony Crane, everybody. Where are you from, Tony? Uh, from Bridgeville, Delaware. All right. So, it's Tony Crane, Crane from Bridgeville, and if you live there, you'd be home now. <laughs> he might have invented that saying. All right. So you're here to talk about an autism support group? That's right. Okay. Yeah. We're Something um, to do with the Greenwood Library. Correct. Uh, Greenwood Library is working with, uh, actually, my son. Anthony, okay. Is 15. Um, he has autism. Okay. And he got an idea because there's really, there's limited resources back here in Western Sussex County. Okay. okay. And um, Lower Kent. Okay. County. So he got an idea of trying to put together a social group down here. Okay. And we decided Your 15-year-old son. Yep. Wow. So um, we decided to put it together for him with All the right. help of the Greenwood Library and the Greenwood VFW Post. Okay. Uh, September 13th at 6.30 p.m. It's open to any teen uh, on, the, on, the autism, on the autism spectrum. Really? Uh, and their families. So really? Their siblings. So what are we going to do? I mean, so is, I don't know if we would call it a support group. It's just it's, an encouragement group. It's not. Group. It's an encouragement group. It's really just the, um, the real problem we see. Okay. Is that kids just don't get together that are on the autism spectrum? Okay. Um, they get together to get treatment. They're in places to get, you know, help okay. or this or that or whatever program. But just to socialize. Just to hang out, you know, man. They right. don't. They don't do what we used to do when we were kids. They're not out right. in the corner hanging out and having right. fun or talking to each other, and things like that. And they have a real hard time um, keeping friends because of their social. They have social interaction problems. Right. They can't so socialize. Somebody, they can't communicate. But somebody with autism totally relates to it. Yep. When they walk in a room together, it's amazing. They're like magnets. Because if you have two people with autism, they don't realize they have any problems. Yep. Absolute magnets. Was, they go straight to each other, and if they're on the same level intellectually, they really? become fast friends. Yep. Wow. Well, this is a great idea. Yeah. It works. So it, your son shared, what's your son's name? Anthony. Anthony. So Anthony said, Dad, I got this idea. Mm -hmm. And so you said, hey, what a great idea. Yep. Yep, absolutely. And went to the library, and the library said you could use some space. Yep, we were all well. We were already involved in a, a group there at the library that does um, family support. Okay. So the okay. third Saturday of every month, we go there as a family okay. and hang out with other parents of wow. kids that have autism. So that's 11 a.m. on the third Saturday of every month. Okay. And everybody's this, welcome to this. Everybody's welcome. Um, and like I said, anybody, if your if your kid is on the spectrum and a teenager, that's kind of the target okay. area. Okay. Um, and it's mostly going to be probably high-functioning kids on okay, the spectrum. Okay. But that being said, anybody with autism is welcome if they want to come and, and check it check out and hang out with us. We're more than welcome. The VFW, which is right around the corner from the library, just okay. off Market Street right. in Greenwood, is making their whole facility available to us. So we have plenty of room. There's a uh, nearby okay. playground. There's a barbecue yeah. out back. So we're going to... The first time is just to get to know each other, let the kids hang out and have Shake some hands, fun. Say but, hi. Yep, and, and we're going to put together a good calendar for them going forward every month on the second Friday night. Okay. We're going to keep it going and, uh, you know, keep the kids coming together. Now, before you leave, why don't you maybe take one of my cards in case sure. you want to be on again. 
you know, um, we, we do stay booked up. So just, right. but yeah, if absolutely. you got something you want to tell people about or talk about or whatever, you know, let me know and um, we'll try to get you on. Um, Thank you. Or if you want to do it regularly, if every couple months you want to just yeah, give us an update to. or something. Um, you were here early. Oh, yeah. I had some good were, breakfast. Did, did you think you were supposed to be on earlier? No, no. Okay. Did, uh, I was worried that, that <laughs> there was a misunderstanding or something. No, so. we were, I just came over, had some okay. eggs and toast, and enjoyed myself. And I didn't even know you were going to be on. I was talking to Donna Carter. Yes. Donna's and, been extremely helpful. Um, she is actually moving to a uh, sort of a higher position at the library. Okay. So we're going to be running. She's going to change the light bulbs from yep, her yep. step she's gonna, No, she's going to nah. she's going to point at the people to change. Oh, the light okay. Bulbs. So we'll be somebody else will be changing the light bulbs. She'll okay. be pointing at the light bulb. You live in Greenwood. Uh, we oh live no, in you're Bridgeville, in Bridgeville, just outside. But of Greenwood. we are talking about the Greenwood. Yes, library. It's at, okay. again, it's at okay. the Greenwood. The the autism Greenwood. family support group is right. going to be at the Greenwood Library. That's the third Saturday of every, of every month. month. Starting, is this the first one coming up? No, that's been going on for about Has a year. Now. Okay, all right. The autism support group for the teens to meet up right. is going to be at the VFW post. Okay, Which is I got just it around the corner right. from the Greenwood Library. It's yep. uh, 301 Mill Street in, all right. in Greenwood. And that's going to start on September 13th. Okay, and that's gonna the be first on, one. Yep, and that's going to be on okay. the second Friday of each month going forward until Is we, there a Facebook page or a website? Like? Uh, the easiest way is probably just to give me a call, to be honest. The Greenwood right. Library uh, has their Facebook page, right. and, and all the information is there. Okay. But if somebody wants to give me a call and get more information, they're free to. All right, here we go. This is Tony's number, 302-602-0270. Uh, 602 Oh two seven zero. Yep, that's my cell All phone. Right. So they can call me anytime. What do you do for a living? I install floors. Do you really? Yeah, I do. Okay, <laughs> for yourself or? Yeah, just for okay. myself. Yep. Really? Yep. Small, okay, really. Okay, small business. All right. Well, um, we're almost out of time. But mm -hmm. is there anything else you want to say or add? No, just or? like I said, everyone's welcome to come out. We're gonna have some games, some stuff to do. Right. But mainly, no it's charge. Just no charge at all. Right. Totally free. VFWs. Even if you're shy or, or uncomfortable or yeah, not listen, sure, it, Jim, it's really open to anybody who has um, sort of that social anxiety problem. If you're not if you see your kid, they don't have a whole lot of friends or whatever. There's a lot of kids. Um, one in 65 kids has autism, right? Really? Yep. Diagnosed with autism. So wow. those kids, and especially back here again in Western Sussex, there's not a lot of services. There's not a lot of, di lot of diagnosis. So we actually will be out a lot of times and see kids and think, you know, like you really? know, my son who has autism will actually say to me, that kid might, you know what I mean? We might want to talk to him. And wow. um, it's a shame because people don't know about right. this thing. And Autism Delaware has done a great job of getting the message out there. Right. But it's really, it's a tough and thing. And I'm sure it's probably even hard to admit. Oh, absolutely. It's hard to you look know at what your I kid mean? and think something's wrong. Or right. You know what I mean? So right. It's tough. Kitty's going to take our picture. <laughs> Colin's taking his own. <laughs> <laughs> Colin's taking his own picture. Kitty's going to take ours. <laughs> Colin needs a Katie over there to take pictures. <laughs> take a picture of Colin, too. Person of the day yesterday over there. <laughs> All right. So, anyway, um, I'm going to thank you for hanging out and being on. And uh, oh, no I'm going to help you get the word out. So, thank I mean, you very if much. If you want to reach out with another date, send me a note. Absolutely. Let's get you on again we'll in a couple months or something. Okay. Thank you very much, Jeff. Thanks a lot. Thank All you. All right. Have a good weekend. You too. There he goes. And uh, I do want to say something about Katie. Katie is over there taking pictures, doing posts, lining up guests. Uh, wondering, are we going to have any food at the very end of the show? And so on and so forth. She's a good girl. She's a good girl. Atlantic Home Improvements, another good sponsor of the show. And I want to say, every sponsor on this show is a good sponsor. Um, and we appreciate each and every one of them because they play a role in helping us pay the bills to do this show. I buy this show from the radio station. I pay for the time. Uh, people that are here helping out are being compensated. There's some equipment that I've had to buy. you know. And so there's a cost associated with this. We try very hard to align ourselves with good quality sponsors. Okay, So when you hear me talk about these different businesses, they're all people that I've dealt with. So, you know, I'm saying I've already done business with them, and I know they're going to do a good job for you, okay? And one of them is my friend. His name is Mark Johnson, and he owns and operates Atlantic Home Improvements and Handyman Services. And let me give you an example of something he just did for me. I have a rental house that became vacant, and I've got a new tenant coming. Actually, we're going to meet today and uh, get the ball rolling. But Mark went there. He went up in the attic and fixed a few things. He crawled in the crawl space and dealt with a few things. And he went over every square inch of the house inside and outside. 
and said, Jim, you got this, you got that, I fixed this, I took care of that, and I just appreciate it, just another set of eyes. And then if there's something that he doesn't do or a service that he doesn't offer, he'll let me know that it needs to be done and who he'd recommend. Okay? So that's what I'm saying. He's a handyman, good, honest guy, been in business over 25 years' experience, um, trustworthy, kind of a one-man band. He's got a couple other people that help him out. But, you know, he's an owner-operator. He's going to be on the scene. And his name is Mark Johnson. A lot of people know him. He used to own um, a local granite business, and he sold it and kind of semi-retired. And uh, now he's kind of wanting something to do. So it's Atlantic Home Improvements and Handyman Service. Estimates are free. Ready for the phone number? Here it is, 302 500 Mark Johnson, thank you for your support. Uh, people, like his Facebook page, if you would. It's Atlantic Home Improvements on Facebook. All right? Now, we're winding down. I can't believe it. Our 312th show. Colin has been with me since the beginning. Katie has been here quite a while. Uh, Delaware 105.9 is where it all started. We appreciate them. Uh, I believe it was Mike Kazala that um, allowed us to do the first show, and Dan Gaffney played a big role in it. And it's just hard to believe that today is our six years of doing this show. So thank you, everybody. There's been numerous people back at the studio that helped make things happen, and we've been here. We've been at Community Bank Delaware. We've been at Dry Zone. We've been in the mayor's office in Dover. We've been a little bit of everywhere, and we've had a good time. So uh, a lot of good sponsors, sponsors, supporters. Ag Museum. Ag Museum. We went up there to the Ag Museum up in Dover one time and did the show. Um, we've just had a lot, of, a, a lot of fun. Katie, give him a mic in case he's got some other things. Let me do First Class as commercial, and then we'll just reminisce. First Class Heating and Air, another good friend, good supporter, sponsor of the show. Um, if you need heating or air conditioning, my goodness, they've been around now 40 years. Listen to these, these statistics of people that have been on the show, how long they've been in business. Good local people, you know, really supportive of us. So if you need some heating or air conditioning work done for your home, maybe you're building an addition, maybe you got a system that's starting to fail and you want to know when are they going to have a special on something or some kind of special finance they can help out there they work on all makes and models and um, I just want to let you know that um, first class heating and air has been a good good friend of mine and a good supporter of the show they offer 24 7 emergency service uh, their people are wearing uniforms their trucks are lettered they're licensed they're insured they also do plumbing they also do home performance they also do um, water treatment systems I think it's called Brita Pro or whatever so anyway if you need something done and you're not sure if First Class Heating and Air does it, you just give them a call, okay? 302-934-8900. 302-934-8900. FirstClassHVAC.com on the web. Like them on Facebook. Tell them I sent you. Check them out. Thank you for your support, Tim and the team at First Class Heating and Air. I got everything done. I believe all my homework is done. Weller's Utility Trailers is officially open. And, Colin, I want to just say thank you for all your help with the oh. show. Can't believe it's well, been 312 you. times. Yeah. And what do you remember about the show? Uh, the uh, bank. Remember the, the bank? bank. Yep. Remember sitting in your office over in uh, oh, Bridgeville? Bridgeville. You know what I remember about that? What's that? How cold it was in there all the time. You wouldn't turn the heat on until after the until show the store started, opened. I think. Yeah, I wouldn't turn it on until the store opened. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it was. Uh, we did it in my office. Then we did yep. it in the showroom. We did it in the show. That's right. We did. Uh, then we did it in that beautiful building up front. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yep. That was cool. Once we got there, though, it was. Well, yeah, because we actually set Left it everything up set up like a studio. And, right. You know, you had all the panels from the ceiling yep. for the for the audio. And yeah, it had electricity, yeah. its own little bathroom. Uh, that's right. It had a bathroom that you could was... almost get to. <laughs> <laughs> Katie, I want to say thanks for your help with the show. And um you got any memories, anything stick in your mind that drives you crazy or what? No, we just okay. have had fun. And, You've I been mean, with us at least two years. Yes, at least two years. At least two. You were just but I helped year. you out one time when you were at the Red Barn. Yep. That oh, was the Red Barn. My, I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah Dry Zone, man. It was actually oh, my, oh no, it when it was contest. before Dry Zone. Yeah. The Red Barn, same building. You were there before no, Dry I, Zone? Oh. I came when we had the pancake eating contest. Do you remember okay. that? Bob Backman. Yeah. And, oh, we had a ball. Jay what, Jones, that was good. Yes, What's that was real good. What's the big guy's good. name who always Lee. wins? Lee. Lee Bibb, the big yep. guy. 
<laughs> we like to call him the Pancake King. <laughs> Pancake King. That was something else. Oh, my. So um, we have been around and had fun. This has been fun, you know. And um, I, I can remember, you know, I was guarding the time. I've got a little looser with the time than I was in the beginning, man. I used to guard a minute like a hawk, you know. And um, that's not our phone, is it? No, it's not. No. So don't answer it if it's not ours. Okay. Take an order on the air. <laughs> Take an order on the air. Yeah, I'd like some pancakes with a side of uh, French toast. All right. So what do you think is going to happen in the future, either one of you, for the show? I think we're going to move in a couple weeks to Georgetown. No that's, matter what. That is my prediction for the future. <laughs> and see if it comes true. Katie's taking next week off. I am. Are you really? I am. Yes, the last show here when we give out all the final paychecks, mm. she hey, takes off. When you get offered a, a house in Dewey to go with your girlfriends, you go. Uh-huh. You go. Yeah, with no kids, I'll you agree go. with you. When <laughs> I get offered a house in Dewey with my girlfriends, I'll probably go. <laughs> <laughs> you, would, you would like that. <laughs> niece found out where I was at. Oh, oh my God. But you so. know, Dewey's not that much farther from here. You can still come to work. Oh, I forgot I bet none about of them will that. Be, I bet none she, of them will even be up no, by the time she you get back. She's going to sleep be. in. I can see her Saturday morning. She might not even have gone to bed she's yet. She's not going to get up and go jog the beach at 6 and then be I here. Don't know all right, no. so you're going to have a good time. No children. No children. Wow, yes. there you go. No child left behind. No. <laughs> Except for Violet. <laughs> right. Child's left Except behind this time. Right. She said her grandparents. I'll leave her water are. and some food. She'll be Cat okay. Food. Yeah. You got She'll one of those self feeder yes. things. <laughs> <laughs> Spill it with cereal with with milk. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she just tells the bottle of cereal. Hey. Oh, God. Bag of fruity pebbles. <laughs> <laughs> you probably plan all her meals in advance no. they're all pre-packaged <laughs> warm this up yes absolutely <laughs> oh my all right well we're gonna miss you we will talk about you though okay that's fine that's all fine. right i'll be I able think, to do a call yeah. in yeah you can do a call <laughs> in here she is um and stacy is um going to be helping us okay. that week so then you're going to be at the first show at the cheer center. Yes, absolutely. Okay. It's going to be fun. It really Fire is. Fire walkers, jugglers. Oh, the people mm. that lay on nails. Denise will be juggling, right? <laughs> yes. And you're going to get a tattoo on, on the air. Oh, yeah. sure. Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Neck sure tattoo. Just start with a neck tattoo. Yeah, oh, big, I was going to do big, right. Forehead big down. Big W. I'm going to start the forehead <laughs> down. Oh, my gosh. I always but, wanted to look like your Wellers. My favorite sign is the Wellers sign you have the, that's lengthwise. The oh, Wellers. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think that's, that's what you know. Well, you know. Yeah. A yes. business with no sign is a sign of no business. Oh, I like that. Jim, Ooh. years ago. <laughs> is that what you used to say? Years ago, Jim yeah, sold. Yeah, remember, it was like Dale Carnegie or something. <laughs> Jim <laughs> Carnegie. He stole it from somebody, I'm sure. That's a Jim But you, you remember the sign, the channel signs where you would put the Do you remember yeah. you would yeah. get a box of 276 yeah. letters and you never had enough of them? Right. Oh, at, at cool. Weller's you in sold Lincoln. Them. We sold them. Yeah. But mm -hmm. at Weller, And I'll tell you why I started selling them. All the ones you bought, they only had four lines of letters. Mm -hmm. I had a company make me one with five lines, so did I you, could get. Did you have it custom made? Yes, and so I had to buy had fifteen to buy a thousand or twenty of them. <laughs> like that. Oh my god! So that's how I started selling them, and then I actually found letters that were big that would take up two signs. So um, who would change the letters so, on the side? Oh my gosh! We <laughs> didn't have one at Wellers in Lincoln. We had four of them. Oh, wow. One over top of one, one over top of one on both sides of the parking lot. And the lot. wind blows right up 113. Oh, so then we started putting <laughs> packing tape on them. Oh, oh, my gosh. The sign industry has come so far. <laughs> so far. I'm glad Lynn Rogers invented those new electronic signs. Yeah, it's mm. a good thing. So right there in Milton, But you Delaware. always have just a little bit more to say than everybody else. Correct. One extra just line. one more line. Yes. Yeah. Four lines is not enough. i got to have one more. <laughs> so I'm interested so. about this project you're going to do with the... Uh, with the board, with the pictures. What board? Mm -hmm. Oh, Some you like that collage. already, didn't you? <laughs> it's going to be interesting. Big collage. <laughs> Think about it. Yep. So um, That's going to be cool. Oh, I, we're ready for next week. I, I mean, we are learning about this sign. I have so many pictures. Can you imagine what I yeah. could put up Do on I that sign? Do I get a photo credit for that? Oh, absolutely. Every time. <laughs> <laughs> a penny uh, for every a image. A penny. Well, still 130,000 <laughs> pennies. Penny, yeah. All right. Up. 
Anything else? I want. I could use some more sponsors. And people say, "How do I get on the show? How do I get in this circle?" In other words, cash find somebody sponsors. cash sponsors, right? Or yes. checks. Mm -hmm. We'll take a check too. Yes. But and I'll you be know, your liaison in the morning and right. take care of that. And she'll keep her ten percent. <laughs> but anyway, so um, I just want to let you know that if you do ever want to be on, because I had somebody say the other day, "Boy, it seems like a close knit group on that show." It isn't. I mean, in other words, you know, we have politicians on. We have all these nonprofits. They're not paying. I mean, that's that's the benefit of the sponsors. The sponsors pay for advertising, which helps us pay the bills, so we can then give time to local nonprofits. I thought it was a variety now, this morning. It was a variety. It was a variety. Mm -hmm. It was a good variety too, man. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the picture of the Reese was pretty good. Yeah, very um, I cool. do need to get that that person's phone number. But I, anyway, I um, have phone number, so you we're do good. Mm -hmm. good. So, um, but good show. We have a lot of fun. People say, you know, I don't even know how you got into it because some people actually think I'm pretty good at doing this. I don't think I'm that good, but right. I do think I'm, this. What you see is well, what you, you pay get. us, Jim. <laughs> I mean, so we have to tell you that at least, right? <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> hey, can I say something real quick? Yeah, go ahead. If there's anybody out there that would like to kind of get into the behind-the-scenes stuff here, oh, you want a, a we're helper? We're accepting applications. Okay, actually, you just stop look by. For a college intern. Yeah, just stop by and talk to me because right. we uh, we need a little more time off. We need a little more rotation, and we need more people to back us up. Right. When people take off. <laughs> and you should so. see the picture of Colin mm -hmm. over here with all this. <laughs> right. One, two, three, One four, five. over there. Six, right. six oh, screens in front of me. Yeah. Right. In other words, <laughs> Lots of yeah. buttons. He does need some more help. Mm -hmm. Smile for the camera, Colin. All right. Yeah, he does need some more help over right. there and a few more wires. Used to be we had them little electric strips. Now he's got one there. Looks like it's about three or four foot long. Uh, right. You know, but so you're saying if somebody's out there yep. has some audio, video, electronic experience. Yeah, I would like somebody. I don't I can't train Start somebody from, from scratch. scratch. Right. right. So if you if right. you, you know how to run a know. mixer, you know, if, uh, I'm thinking somebody that, that works in their church, maybe that, yeah. that runs right. audio, so, runs right. the, very good. idea. Or, or is that like a place like the cheer center and it's the, the sound and audio guy uh, right. for that or yeah. something, yep. you know? Want to pick up a little extra cash? Is it an intern or a paying job? Oh, I guess it's paying now. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> but anyway, Colin does need a day off every now and then, okay? So, um, and it's going to get even more technical when we go to the cheer center because we're going outside. Yes. We're going I high mean, def, right? We may be able to go up in a helicopter <laughs> oh and broadcast <laughs> and show people what the roof and the rain gutters of the cheer center look like. Do you know somebody with a private helicopter who's going to just come? I know somebody that owns six helicopters. Get out. That lives in Laurel. Really? Oh. That is something else. Friend of mine. Well, he has a business. Mr. Where you, you helicopter. Know, is you can that fly up and down the beaches, Rehoboth okay. and Lewis, you know. Anyway, that's him. So anyway, um, we're excited. We're excited. But going outside requires more wires and more mm -hmm. hand signals and more everything. So and we're only going to do that on um, good weather days unless it's snowing. And then we might be out in the parking lot doing donuts. Jim's so. got galoshes to sell. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good time to bring out the boots. You could be the boot model. Oh, oh yeah. You oh, count these on that. are the most beautiful looking. <laughs> what are we thinking? You don't even have to take your shoes off to put <laughs> yeah, them on. Yeah, yeah. Put them on right over oh, top yeah. of them. I keep a pair in my truck, uh, and they're like size 16. <laughs> Oh and when I drive with them, they hit the brake pedal and the gas pedal at the same time. <laughs> and the car in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. I'm excited. You can tell. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm excited. There's but... a little pond out there. You could put a kayak in there, too. That's right. Katie kayaking. <laughs> no, not We could get I Violet to kayak to with Fern. Yeah, yeah, that would be really good. That would really I'm be sure good. Fern would sit still for that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, she probably would happen. She'd, she'd jump in the pond. Stud. Yeah. Eating them frogs. <laughs> anyway, listen, folks, we want to say a big thank you. A big thank you to Smith's Cafe. I remember when we first pitched this idea to them and we told them they're going to have to pay us and they said they would and they're just a great family environment a great restaurant if you have never ate breakfast lunch or dinner let me know i'll help you eat breakfast lunch and dinner it's just a great place to eat okay my earbuds just went dead really? i bet the battery went dead I think the battery died battery died so, so anyway yeah. i'm just letting you know that if you want a good place to get a bite to eat it is Smith's Cafe in Seaford. They're inside the Delmar Teen Challenge thrift store. And what a thrift store. You love finding bargains over there. I do. Um, there is some bargains over there. So it's a well-lit 30-some thousand square foot there thrift is store. some bargains. And we appreciate everybody supporting us, the listeners, the viewers, the people that work back at the station. I really appreciate it. Kevin Short has really helped us electronically. Uh, Brooks Ritter was a big, big uh, 
part in the very beginning. You know, mm -hmm. there's a lot of people that have played a role in this. So uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Show number 312 is just about over. Weller's Utility Trailers is open, and we desperately would like to hire another salesperson. We'd actually like to find somebody that could help us a little bit in management and sell. You know, somebody that can give Terry a hand. You know, uh, Steve was the assistant manager. Steve's last day is today, and that's Steve Hughes. Thank you, Steve, for your help. And uh, now that, you know, he's going to be going, there's a little vacancy there, and um, uh, everybody's going to step up a little bit. But, you know, Terry's just looking for just that right person. So if you're that right person, go on in there and sell yourself to, to Terry. Tell him why you're the one he should consider hiring. You know, don't contact me. He doesn't want me in the middle of it. He wants to be the one to hire you, so um, that's that. Um, I can't hear the radio, so you have to tell me when, when it's about time. But um, it's really been good. I'm, I've been very humbled and uh, good supporters and sponsors and advertisers. And, my gosh, when you look back on the Facebook page, Weller Does Del Marva, look at the amount of people we've had on the show. And I know it sounds far-fetched, but I really believe we're going to end up with Donald Trump on the show one of these days. Uh, I just really <laughs> believe it. Okay? Even if it's the fake Donald Trump. All right, we're going to let you go. God bless you. Have a good weekend, everybody. I'll see you next week. Goodbye. Bingo. Bingo, right, bingo. Katie. All right, We Jeff. covered a lot. That Did was pretty good there. Two winners today. Um, two winners. Let me see.